Good evening, Internet. Good evening. <laughs> it's, it's bright and early, buddy. It doesn't Good matter what evening. It doesn't matter what time it is. It is Probably bright and do. early. Welcome to another episode of Schnozcast. You're here once again with, uh, some might say, the greatest hosts to ever host a podcast, Bob, Corey, and Todd. Word. Hosting what some are saying the might be the greatest podcast ever invented. Some, some are saying you Bob? I, I think most are saying that. <laughs> some are saying that. All right. We are here one more time at Uncle Ray's Bar in Dearborn Heights, Michigan. Hosting the game versus the, 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 the broadcast. Uh, Detroit Lions versus the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, this is a, it's an interesting going to be an interesting game. We, we're just kicked off and we're ready to start. But Todd Dillon does not have the game. So he's flying blind. <laughs> I'm flying but, blind. No, no are you I, are you I, flying I blind because on. you refuse to pay the for a shoddy product. The fuckers who, yeah, give you shoddy service? I told you, man, I was boycotting. Uh, this is the first year I boycotted DirecTV since its inception. I did not th- realize, though, that the boycott extended to a game that we were also uh, watching on our podcast. Uh, <laughs> I am not going to pay. Well, anyone. I refuse. <laughs> but you know what we'll do? We'll take Todd right over to the game. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. All right, let's get the housekeeping out of the way. If you're new to the podcast, thank you for joining. Uh, if you're sitting out there at Uncle Ray's and you happen to be listening to us through your uh, headphones, um, raise your hand. Okay, there's there's one. There's two. Hey. Let my hand uh, raise two. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was watching the video, Todd. Uh, thank, you for, thank you for joining us. If you're returning, we appreciate your business. We appreciate your patronage. Give us a like and subscribe out on any of the streaming services where you can get a podcast, especially YouTube. Yes. Follow us. Uh, subscribe to us. Give us a like. Give us a comment. We really, really appreciate it. And if you want to talk to us directly, you can send us an email at shoutscast at gmail.com with any of your existential questions or requests for relationship advice. Candy cane. Oh, Lord. <laughs> so, Jared Goff sacked. At, on a second and 17, that's, that's not good. Uh, this is going to be an interesting game, Todd, I, and I'm really uh, – I was excited for this game just to see how the Lions bounce back from losing what might you might consider to be the anchor for their entire defense, Aiden Hutchinson, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, last mm-hmm. week. And there's been a whole lot of talk, right, Todd, about um, – whether it's Max Crosby or who did I just – I was just reading. Now I can't remember the guy's name. Um, place of the Browns. Oh, Garrett. Uh, 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 Garrett. Hang on. It's go- it'll come to me. Hang on. I know, it's, I know Garrett's his name. Um, the, Garrett Brown? The- <laughs> Thanks, Corey. He- You're welcome. <laughs> yes. I still have it early in the morning, Todd. Montgomery is such a badass. But anyway, so the Miles the, Garrett. Miles, Miles Garrett. Garrett. Thank you, sir. Yeah, he's he's been having kind of a, his team's been having a rough rough season thus far. And there was some interview <laughs> where somebody asked him, like, "Oh, what would you?" He's like, "Oh, you know what? I'm not really looking actively, but I'll tell you what. If I were to get an offer from the Lions, that'd be pretty cool. Because like he grew up." Playing for he played for the Vikings and he played for the Packers, so he's like, if I get to play against those teams again, that, that it's all good. So who knows? It, it it's a it's a tough thing where Dan Campbell's obviously like, listen, we've got uh, I've got faith in our guys. You know, we've got the right guys in place. We're moving people up. They just gave an extension to uh, was it uh, McNeil? Um. What did you tell me last week, Todd? Seven million for two years? Oh yeah, yep. So, who knows? Who knows what can happen? Well, but I think that would be a. I mean, the Raiders are obviously in a rebuild, having lost Devontae this past week. Yeah. Uh, and so losing and Max Crosby is not only the heart of their defense, but the heart of their team. Right. So that would be a, that would be them giving up this year and next year and maybe the year after. <laughs> right. I don't see that. I don't see that happening. I and think similarly. That, I, I think by and large, people are, are feeling the same way that you are, that Max Crosby isn't going anywhere. No. No, that, 
I mean, that's people go just to see him. I mean, he's that kind of. It'd be awesome to have him in the, in the Lions, being that he's a, uh, a a Western man, right? Or Eastern? Is he EMU? It's either Eastern or Western. Hang on, let me double okay. check. <laughs> I was gonna say if he's Western, he's a uh, he's an alum with uh, James Crabby Pappas. Oh, and uh, both of your cousins who went to Western. Did you know? Oh that? my! Oh my cousin! Yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking. To I'm no, sorry. no, I'm looking directly at you. <laughs> he's an East, he's a Huron. He's a Huron. Okay. You know I mean, an Eagle. Well, that's sorry. <laughs> Eastern Michigan. Right. I knew I knew he was one of the two. So that oh, would be yeah. a great homecoming for him. Oh boy. That's that's a bad start. Yeah, I'm not really sure how this game's going to pan out, but. Well, typically, after handing a team a beat down, <laughs> the team who Hands out the beat down, start slow. They've been feeling their own oats for the last week, Bob. Yeah, but they so, have they have something to prove this week, though. Blah. T.J. <laughs> Hawkins is not back on the field. They got nothing blah. to prove. Do you think that uh, Hawkinson was one of those ones that uh, we should have held on to? Not, 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 not that you have Laporta, no. But uh, at the time, I did. Because, at the time, he did. Yeah, I think he, he he showed in Minnesota that he had a lot of skills. I didn't think he was. Involved enough in the offense uh, when right. he was a line. Well, shout out to our brother uh, from another mother, Nick Bader, who hosted his annual uh, Halloween movie night last night. Yes. Yeah. Good time was had by all. Uh, the a, movies thanks that for we the invite, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the, it's a rough morning. The films we watched were uh, American Psycho. And was it Annabelle? Well, you weren't so much around for Annabelle. Uh, no, I was not. You and Nick kind of left after that. Uh, but, yes, Annabelle was the second one. So That sounds very that. dubious, Corey. I mean, he, it was at Nick's house, right? It was. It was. And so yes. Bob and Nick just disappeared together? Yes, they did. Hmm. Yeah, and uh, I, I just, I in my head, I'm like, I need to listen to some music right now. Yeah, we were there to some, watch some movies. Tender, some tender love songs, like Hey Soul Sister. <laughs> they had to go hold each other and uh, caress <laughs> each other. <laughs> right. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I, I, no, I, no, I'm, 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 not, I'm yeah, loving I'm, it. I'm okay with it. Uh, but well, it sounds like you're not, though. Well, I was just not okay with the fact that you guys didn't want to watch the movie, because that's what we were there to do. <laughs> yeah. But you guys had to have your Knock it in the boys' room. Right. Yeah. Jason Thomas. In the house, the proprietor of Uncle Ray's Bar and Establishment. So he hey, says. Jason. So he says. I'm kind of hey, convinced he might My boy be. Aaron Jones just scored on <laughs> I think if we work hard, maybe we can get him on camera today. We might be able to. Yeah. We might be able to. How come you guys didn't react to that? Uh, what did I miss? I, 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 I heard it. I, I, <laughs> I didn't know how to react to it, Todd. He's on my fantasy team before I can help him. <laughs> so, Todd, just so you know, uh, you you remember old paint, right? Oh, yeah. He's back? No, we have older paint. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting right in front of us. Much older old, paint. Much, can, much can, older paint. I can say this because I am 100% confident that he'll never listen to this Bob, podcast. Bob's like a year underneath him. He, wow. He's literally the oldest thing I've ever seen. What? Yeah, it's a t- it's a table with a bunch of old paints. Wow. Yeah. Is it but, is it ger- is it geriatric Sunday there? <laughs> we were we were told by the proprietor of this bar that 1 p.m. games on a Sunday he he packs the place. And uh you know, I guess like on the way to go get the early bird special, they stop yeah. at Rays, watch the game, have a couple of drinks. Order a Coney Dogs, and then they go to... They have Coney Dogs today? Uh, I, I feel like that's what he's eating right there. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> I might have to do that. <laughs> yeah, uh, two Coney's with fries, seven ninety five. You can't right, beat that at Uncle Ray's, everybody. Uncle Ray's Bar. Jason Thomas, 
How are you, sir? How are you guys doing? Good, Good morning. What's up, Good brother? morning. Good to see you Good guys. morning. Hopefully we'll get you on the mic uh, yeah. at some point during the game. Hey, absolutely, man. Hey. All right. Go Lions. Let's get some. Uh, Holy cow. That's a huge beer right by your head. All right. Got it. And there it is right now. Enjoy. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Love being here. Hi, Danielle. <laughs> He has no idea that we literally kick people out of that of those seats so that she can sit down. Oh yeah, yeah, it's not so. <laughs> so when we came in, there, there's a table to the left of where we're sitting. Yeah. And uh, there was a couple sitting there, and Danielle's like, "Well, I guess Jason didn't reserve it's, my yeah, it's table." Yeah, that's normally the spot where <laughs> the, the, the wives, the ladies, the special lady friends, that's wow. where we sit. Yeah. So <clears throat> I went over, and I was like, uh, "Hey." You guys, like, we're doing a podcast, <laughs> and uh, my wife needs to sit here. Do you mind it, mind moving? And they were very nice. They were, uh, and and they they. But did you move. kind of imply that she played some role in the podcast and she needs to sit right here? No, no. I just, I, just, I was just like, hey, like, I, well, I did say, and our friends, <laughs> yeah. But clearly, we don't have any anyone no, else showing no. up. Not really. Not at this bar. And Danielle's like... I mean, like, we're working on it. Danielle's like, oh, she was so pissed. Oh, shit. That is- yeah, I know. That's. Is it because... Is the cable going out beyond the tables? Yeah, I'll take care Maybe of that's I, it. I'll, I'll take care of it. Okay. But, yeah, she's uh, like... Oh, okay. Right. You, want to, you want us to close the store? No, I'm going to close... I'll close it in a minute. I'm just okay. Gonna let it, uh... yeah. Jason Thomas, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Jason's explaining to Bob why, uh, this, is why, this is why you are who you are Why he's turning the air on But uh, so yeah So we Nope I, I asked this couple to move And Dan- Danielle was like Oh she was not happy I'm like oh Oh well I, oh, I didn't hear that So the girl legitimately was mad Apparently she was she was throwing some looks. Oh but, goodness! Oh well, I send her drink or six. I well then I, I was going to. Nah, I don't feel that bad, Todd. I, I actually <laughs> asked the waitress. I'm like, hey, I'm like, what are they drinking? She's like, Diet Coke. Oh, I'm like, goodness. well, okay, that doesn't help me at all. They're just yeah. mad at the world anyway. Yeah, so I'm like, ah, it is what it is, right? I, and again, I've never seen them here before. Oh, so the, well, that's it. I think I think they are leaving. They they have they have to move. Yep, grabbed her purse, that's and she's like, I'm fucking out of here. No. I don't, even, I don't even like the Lions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's not. Good riddance. I really hope that's not why they left. I hope it is. Because that's really stupid. I hope it is. I mean, yeah. He also had a nose. I do too, actually. He also had a nose ring that I did not like, so. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what? Wow. Why did what does that have to do with anything? A lot. <laughs> okay. No, dude, no, uh, okay, hang on. Let me let me pull the crowd here. Any dude with a stud in his nose, is yeah. that not weird? Uh, I don't know. Why is that weird? You take him. Take him. Uh, the chairs? Take You take them both. Yeah, as long as they're not yeah, no problem, Jason. All right. Well, this is part of the, the, the majesty of doing a podcast from a <laughs> working from bar. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he took the chair and now he's... He doesn't uh, like I, it. I feel like he, he wants to just take Patrick and just sit him in the chair. Jason did not like that chair. <laughs> he's like, oh, thanks, brother. I don't need it. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I'm fine standing. So, Todd, uh, yes, sir. We we'd had a few drinks last night. Yeah, and I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna tell you about my night and how I know that uh, we had a few drinks. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. On the so what we were what what we usually do like Lori showed up at my house. Um, oh, that's what happened. Nick had told all of us that it was uh, what time we started. He used to send out a text to everybody going nine o'clock. And so that's what I was planning on. And then uh, at some point during the day, so I, I made Sunday gravy for the dish that I was going to bring. 
I don't know if you call it Todd Sunday Sauce or you call it Sunday Grape. Does it have meat in it or not? Yeah, meat. Yep. The so sausages were pretty sauce. pretty good in there. Sauce? Okay. I call it sauce if it's got meat in it. Yes. So Sunday Sauce, uh, pork neck bones, Italian sausage, ground beef, ground pork. Uh, oh, nice. Yeah, red sauce, and it simmered. I worked on it all afternoon. It sat there and simmered for like four plus hours. I made a batch of meatballs in the oven and then put them in the sauce before we left. And I was really like, I'd never made it before. I've had this recipe for a while. Um, I I got it from a girl. I think you I think you know who, if I were to tell you off air, Todd, I think you'd know who it was. Okay, okay. But uh, I'd never made it. Stephanie. No. Uh, <laughs> so I... <laughs> Just start throwing out. You, you, you want to take the rest of the game and just, just keep throwing on throwing out names? I was just going to keep throwing I'll, out names. I'll, 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 I'll bet you. I will tell you if you're correct. Um, so anyway, I, I, <laughs> I called Nick earlier because oh, he sent me a text because Nick got you a very nice like Halloween present. You know, Corey, Corey does has done for a few years now Halloween. Can I go ahead and push go, that? Go, in. Yeah. Going on three yep. years. Yeah. So. Uh, Nick got him a very nice uh, sort of a skeleton for the front lawn, like a, a good, like a friend thing to do, right? Thanks for thinking about me, Nick. <laughs> well, so yeah, Nick go, apparently... Go Tell me more. Nick really should have texted you as well because he texted me at some point going like, hey, uh, 30 bucks if you're in for this skeleton. And I, so I called him back immediately. I'm like, dude, I just laid out a whole bunch of money for something for Corey for the house for Halloween. So I, I'm I'm all spent out for Halloween. But thanks for including me. I, I was, Nick, I was, Nick <laughs> dropped me like a chick who jibbed on he, the first He day. did. He did. So I, I go, hey, by the way, what uh, are we still on for 9 o'clock? He's like, well, no, not really. Not really 9. I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, well, I guess there was some other person that he knows who was having a party. And they were thinking that the guy was going to cancel, but he had made it because, like, well, if he doesn't cancel, then we're going to make our party at 9 o'clock. The, the guy apparently canceled. And at some point in the last week, he's like, oh, yeah, we just we just decided, uh, like, 7. And I'm like, 7, did you tell me? Did you send a text out or anything saying 7 o'clock to anybody? I didn't, I didn't recall seeing it. He's like, well, we talked about it. I'm like, who is we? we so, <laughs> hey, hey, the royal hey. we. Yes, the royal we, but, but hey, it, we did we did discuss it. At Lori's at the party? Yeah. So I, I'm i like, let me just like tick off down the list of all the substances that I was abusing and tell you that if we talked about this, I do not recall it. Cocaine and, and heroin? And by the way, there are people who weren't at Lori's party who were also coming to movie night that you really should have, like the responsible thing is to send out a text and go, we're changing the time. He didn't do that. So I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. I'm making the Sunday sauce, and it's not going to be ready until, like, 8.30 before I can leave. So I guess I'll see you then. He's like, all right, no problem. So we get there. A good time was had by all. Uh, and when Lori got to my house I'd to go to go to Nick's house, I mean, apart from time. <laughs> <laughs> we, it, we've been together long enough now where there's just this understanding where it, it's not. we're not even speaking of it. We're not discussing it, but we're taking her car. Um, and then we're either going to, she's going to drive home or we're going to Uber home. One of the two. So I come out with the sauce and it's fucking bubbling hot. And I put it uh, on the floor of the passenger seat in the front seat. And then thinking that I wasn't going to be driving home and maybe she might be, I'm like, oh, why don't I like return the favor? Like I'll drive. And Lori looks at me like, uh, okay. And it didn't hit me until like halfway through the road that I was basically being a dick and making her sit with the fucking sauce <laughs> the hot hot sauce at her feet in the car that isn't that how good. your isn't that how your baby boomer brain works Aren't it is to, or, or doesn't work let's just say <laughs> so good time was had by all at the end of the night Lori drove home and at some point during the ride home which isn't very far when we got to a red light I just decided like I don't need the seatbelt like I'm not going to let the man hold me down and tell me to wear a seatbelt when I'm stopped at a red light. And she, she's like, hey, why don't you put that seatbelt back on? I'm like, nope, not having it. I don't count out of the man. <laughs> so I got, I got home and I, I decided that uh, I really needed to wash the pot that I made the sauce in. Hang on, real, real, yeah. real, real quick question. Yeah. Is there any of that sauce left? Yes. Yep, four four big containers of it. Lori took one home today. 
with with sausages. Yeah. Yep. Why are they not here right now? Uh, when I finish my story, you'll probably understand why. Okay. Two for one conies, man. <laughs> two for yeah. one conies, bitch. Uh, so <laughs> I needed to wash this pot. It was like four in the morning, and I'm dr- I am I am hammered. I don't know why I need to wash the pot, but then so Jack you do was a lot of strange things. Right in the middle of the night, vacuuming. They make for, now, so a- answer me this, Todd. Riddle me this, Batman. Is it because we have a podcast where I'm like, I need good stories to tell on the podcast, or am I just an idiot and I do it because it's four in the morning? You're just, I think you're an you idiot, could, Batman. Ma- yeah, you could make <laughs> Thank you, a John. case either way. But uh, so Jack was home and he was not quite asleep yet. He was awake. So Lori and Jack were talking. And at some point after I decided I really needed to scrub this big ass pot, which I did not get fully clean by the way, it still has to be washed properly. I sat down on the stairs to take my shoes off, as is as that's just what you do. And then you and fell asleep, didn't you? Jack and Lori were sitting at the top of the stairs, <laughs> and he's looking at me, and I'm taking my shoes off, and they're talking, and he looks back down again, and he's like, "Oh, maybe he's just looking at his phone." <laughs> and they talk a little bit more, and he looks back down, and he's like, "Hey, uh, Lori, how many drinks do you think?" Is, has my dad had tonight? She's like, ah, oh, uh, a few. Okay, good, because I think he's falling asleep at the bottom of the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> she had to come down and wake me up to go to bed. And when you, I, you honestly fell asleep at I the bottom. Honestly, of the stairs. fell asleep at the bottom. I obviously don't recall this, but that's what I'm told. Dude. I have no reason to doubt her. Wow. I have no reason to believe it's not true. Todd, Todd. Okay, <laughs> hang on. We, you, you and I have to have a discussion because yeah. has, has this always been a, a Bob issue? I, I hadn't. I was, other than the, the, the midnight cleaning, I, I wasn't aware of it. Um, I, he, he, I am he, double he, nickels now. He can apparently. So. Impar- so Danielle and I have, have drove him home. Yeah. Many a times. And... Uh, like from Nick's or from Ray's, like not yeah. far, probably like less than five miles. Maybe, maybe a maybe a fifteen, no, not even that, a ten minute drive. Yeah. And two minutes into that drive, it's like a baby Sound in the car. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Dude, yeah. com- completely, completely sound asleep. I'm not gonna say any <laughs> mention any names, but I know someone else like that. Oh yeah. Oh it's yeah. Nice. It's definitely Mary. I get that, but <laughs> I didn't say that, and I would never say that, Corey. And I, I know you. I know you would. Say, no. I know you I would, would. Never say anything. We're not like even that. saying that, that Corey said that. We're just saying people are saying. I, I wasn't even saying you're Mary. I was just saying Mary. People, yeah, people named oh, Mary. Yeah, people named Mary you, tend to fall asleep in cars. Quickly. <laughs> now you could make the argument that if I'm if I'm uh, if I have the good fortune to be chauffeured home by my friend and his wife. I think that that's the point where you're like, oh, I'm going to take advantage of this, and I don't need to be awake for this drive. The reason I'm going home is because I'm tired. <laughs> Why not just take a little siesta okay. on, on the drive home? Okay. <laughs> yeah. But so to, to, to close out the story. Uh, hey, when, I wrote, real quick, the yeah. Lions just shut down the Vikings. Uh, oh, at fourth and seven? It, they, well, they shut him down at, at on the third down. Oh, now we're at fourth and seven. Now, now, yeah, now we're at fourth and seven. So, awesome. We we may have a chance here. We may have a chance. Well, we're down seven nothing, but yeah. On a positive note, the Seahawks are up three nothing. <laughs> Mary's got. Is Mary watching the game? Uh, I believe so. Or is it just you? She's watching in one of your many uh, bedrooms. She's down Slash. in the living room. I'm, I'm in the studio. She's in another wing of the compound. <laughs> I'm in so the this, studio. This Slash morning office. when Cor- Corey Danielle picked me up, uh, and she's like, how, how you feeling this morning? I'm like, oh, man, uh, it was a three-pickle morning today. Because I tend to measure... Uh, how bad was the night by how many pickles I need to eat the next day to rehydrate because I was too dumb to uh, hydrate front, front load. Uh, yeah, hydrate when I got home or or invest in some Gator Lights or, you know. Or just drink a, a glass of water and everything water. else you're yeah, drinking. Yeah, I'm too dumb for that. Oddly enough, So though. three pickles this morning. 
water, and, a, and an order of fries at the bar. Water will not hydrate you like stuff with sodium. That's why I eat the pickles. I, no, it makes sense. And that's why I have uh, I actually have a jar of pickle juice in the fridge. I, I will eat the and then drink the pickle juice from the jar. Yeah. Nope. They actually make pickle shots just for that purpose. We used to buy. And it uh, grossed me out. We used to invest in you uh, pickle pops. Yeah, pick, pickle yeah, pops. Frozen are, yeah. pickle juice. Dude, you, Todd, you you don't like you don't like pickles no. that like that. <laughs> I don't like I like pickles, but not like that. No. Ah, oh, dude, taking a big swig of pickle juice right out of the uh, jar. But uh, on, on the next uh, the morning I'll after, chicken, I'll brine some chicken and pickle juice. I'll put a pickle on my burger. That's about the and I'll, and I'll eat one of them giant dong pickles out of the freaking corner store thing. But uh, otherwise, At the hardware store. The, oh the, yeah, the, the big. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. When, when Ty goes to Ace Hardware, <laughs> always gets a pickle. <laughs> big, I'll take one of those big dong pixel pickles and one of those, and those cheesy pretzels, please. <laughs> did you Did you say big dong pickles? I did. All right. That that was aptly stated. It's the envy jar. Because I can picture it in my head now. You just like <laughs> on your knees. <laughs> big dong pickle. You said big the, envy, my the envy jar. <laughs> that's, all right, that's. Have you seen the size of those pickles? I, he, well, I, I, I have, but I've never thought of it like that. Now, big now every pickles. time, now every time I do, I'm like, oh wow, well. big dong pickles. You're be like, I envy that jar. <laughs> Like, well, I'm not that. <laughs> Maybe one day. It's going to take a lot of stretching. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, a lot, maybe some, and a lot of hydration. Uh, and maybe some, I had to go to the hospital may, after may, having that pickle. Maybe some injections. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, as a plug for an upcoming episode, uh, one week from today on the 27th on Sunday at uh, 1 o'clock, I believe. Maybe 1.30. I think it's 1.30. Uh, we'll be, we'll be uh, doing a regular podcast, not from Uncle Ray's, from the what's what's passing as the Schnozka Studios now with the year, year of October. Uh, great three-piece band from Nashville will be on the show. And... Uh, chatting with us for the entire episode. Uh, I wish that we could play some of their music. But the best we could do is just point people out to where, where they can find their music and ask them to go you know, listen to it on their own. And speaking of that, gentlemen, what episode number is this? Oh, well, it, depends on, it depends on who you ask because the, the streaming services go by a different... You know, like, like, like we're hosted on Podbean and Podbean doesn't doesn't count this as the 300th episode but we know that we've released we've we've released now 300 300 300 episodes congratulations fellas cheers boys cheers nicely done nicely done cheers 300 is a it's a sizable number yeah we've been doing this for a while that's an envy pickle man that's an envy pickle bob (laughs) That is an envy pickle. That is correct. That's a pickle that would send you right to the hospital. Indeed. So for all you people out there with rhinophobia, <laughs> get on our Bri- bandwagon, baby. Rhinophobia? Rhinophobia. Well, that's that's the nose, oh, sir. Yeah. I know. This is the schnoz cast. Oh, uh, I, I, we were talking about pickles. And I'm like, I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to lie. Br- I'm Br- not <laughs> Brinophobia would have worked as well. Yeah, that's, exactly. <laughs> that's what I thought he said. Three hundred. Holy cow! Yeah, man. It, it's uh, it's been a long time. Yeah, I wish that we all had uh, more free time where we could have properly marketed and promoted the shit out of this being the three hundred episode. Uh, it's all right. It's, 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 it's for us. Yeah. It's for us. It's uh, Yeah, it's a number that really only, only is important to us. Yeah. And any of, the, any of you followers who are out there who've been with us on and off, maybe hopefully more on than off uh, for throughout those 300, we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you for sticking with us and 
enjoying what we're doing. And, and if you're off, then I never liked you anyway. <laughs> Stay away. <laughs> Don't listen to us. Yeah. Exactly. Todd Dillon's comments do not reflect the uh, <laughs> position of the podcast. Enjoy officially. your girl dinner. Trash. If you're in the... Oh. Oh, hold on. Hold on a minute. Hold on a second. Todd, how, Todd how, much, how much have you been drinking before the podcast today? He could still be half asleep. Yeah. I, they, there's something going on. Yikes. Coming in real hot today. Coming in hot, baby. I'm spicy. Spicy, baby. Schnozcast. We do not care about uh, dissing other podcasts on the show. <laughs> Anyone else? Yeah. Also, a, the first podcast free, to ever host free, while we eat French fries. They got free advertising, and I, I sent people that didn't listen to us there. It's a win-win. It is a win. I mean, it, it was until that. <laughs> yeah, now it's more of a loss, but... That's fair. Bob, I know you didn't ask, but I'm going to tell you. What are you drinking today, Todd? I'm enjoying a fabulous new beer. I'm enjoying New Belgian Brewing's Blaze Lightning IPA. My goodness, Bob, this is a hazy IPA. Yeah. That is so perfect for that 10 a.m. drinking. It, it is It is smooth. It's got a really nice alcohol content, just set, just over 6.7% uh, alcohol, so nothing nothing too insane crazy. It's going to get started say, right up, on the right foot. You, you've uh, decided you needed to lower your alcohol content of, of what you're drinking during the shows? Yeah, when we do, when, you know, when there's 10 a.m. broadcasts, i got to make sure I don't start with the 9.5. I think it's a smart move, sir. One that's born of experience. Indeed. Indeed. Speaking of drinks, I yeah. was hoping Dawn was going to come back over here, but she did not. I feel like she's more behind the bar than out of the floor. Well, she is, but she she was bringing but Carol around. Is Car- that, that's Carol. the name? Yeah. Okay. I, I asked her because I didn't know. All right. Well, we got Carol over here. Yes. I feel like there's going to be a lot more yelling on the line sidelines this week than there has been in previous weeks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dan Campbell's not very happy right now. Yeah. Hey, Carol. Carol. Oh, put it, you can put him on my tab, Carol. Yeah. Uh-oh, who's down? Oh, God, we don't need another... We don't need another hero. Who sang that song, Bob? <laughs> Were you and Nick listening to that from last night? While embracing uh, each other? Yeah. <laughs> I think mid embrace, I'm like, you know what we need right now? Tina Turner. Yeah. And he's like, done. Yeah. I mean, and not one of her good songs TC. either. One, one of the songs from like the least popular <laughs> Mad Max movie. And he's like, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> and we made it happen. Todd, I'll tell you, Nick, Nick and Bob get real weird with each other when it's just the two of them. Just I, the two of us. <laughs> I can't, that's, I can't, that's, that's not Tina Turner. <laughs> I don't even know who that's that the first is. thing I thought Will, of. Will Smith. Corey, when, I, when you said it, I'm like, oh yeah, I can see that. I can see oh, Will Smith sampled that, maybe. Oh, dude, Todd, they they get they get very intimate with each other. It's it's very weird. Handsy, we'll say. Hand jobby, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, we can say that. I was trying to keep it PG, but Corey made it R. I'm sorry, I'm just calling it like I see it. Hard R, he made it. Mouth jobby. <laughs> I really hope that that's how you. That's how you. You and Daniel talk like Daniel. Come on over here. I think I, 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 need, I, need, a mouth I need a mouth job. <laughs> Dude, I was I was just I was just gonna get myself into trouble by dropping just the two of us. Dude, yeah. this is I can't wait for this freaking election to be over because I was gonna freaking make everybody mad on the on the show by dropping just the two of us. 
I yeah. hit the button to play the song, and freaking there is a freaking politician's ad. Give us some, some money. I'm like, damn it's, it. Yeah, I can't wait for those to stop. You know what else I can't wait for? Is for Carol to stop bringing over napkins. She's, she's a she's a classy lady, that Carol. Ah, yeah. Well, perhaps she. Uh, where's Chris? Was a server at. Uh, Crystal should be here. Mitchell's Fish Market, or uh, Morton Steakhouse. Todd, you got something? Yeah. What's your booze, Todd? Did you tell me? Oh, I'm back on that twisted tea, baby. Well, here's to you with your twisted tea. Oh, Pour yourself out yet. Hold on. Hang on, hang on. Hang All right, right, we're waiting. Rustle around in that. Yeah, while we're waiting for Todd. Cooler. If you're watching or listening. There it is. Go get one. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Give us a toast. If you if you never have, what better time than on a 300th episode, toast the boys from the Shazcast. Word what the hell the is mother. wrong with you? What? Where you been? Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready, baby. You been? All right. I'm ready. Cheers. Cheers, brother. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. <sighs> yeah. So, you know that, why that tastes so good? Because it's cold. There was, a, there was a napkin under it. <laughs> no. That's. Fuck Carol. <laughs> Hold on a minute. <laughs> My saltiness is rubbing off. It is. It's starting to get bad over here, Todd. So you're telling me to commemorate the 300th episode, we're going to just start shitting on uh, all the people that are helping us? <laughs> all, the podcasts, all the podcasts we're trying to collaborate with? We're just going to shit on everybody tonight? Carol's not a podcast. And then I, on episode 301, and I, we're like, we're sorry. There, Bob. So sorry. Is your glass always half empty? I, I said the people who were dissing us who weren't listening yeah. to... The girls' dinner podcast. You did, yes. And two mean Canadian and now girls. Now you're taking them away. <laughs> <laughs> what, so, hey, and re- really, really, yeah. really off topic. But hey, Todd, I have to ask. Yes, sir. So, does does that cooler just create its own ice? Oh yeah. Because I, I I feel like every time you've reached in there, there's been a a, a lot of ice in there. Dude, I like things ice cold. Do you not know me. Hey, yeah. I, I I don't di- I I'm not dissing you for that. I just there's always a constant storage of ice in there. Word. <laughs> and there's never any like sloshing. Like that no, ice doesn't it, melt. It's, no. yeah, it's no, always it, it's, in it's pure fra- cold it's, cube it's, form. Ta- so so you have a cooler in your office that drains itself and creates its own ice. Well, that's why Mary has to come in and vacuum in the middle of the game because it's it's drained itself all over the carpet and she's got to like okay god damn it we, we don't is do this pick what my of the life week has anymore. come to we, we, we don't do pick of the week anymore so i can't share what cooler you can't share <laughs> that's true. what cooler we, it is listen we could do we could resurrect what better time on the 300th episode to resurrect pick of the week i, I still got the uh, the artwork up oh, here oh hold on do we have do we have music i don't think we ever have i'm music. not doing it i'm not doing it i'm, I'm not doing it today oh well, we're this, making you do this it this is going to get me in trouble this we're making you trouble. do it all right here we nope. go pick of the week nope. Pick up a week. There we go. All right, Todd. All right. What's your pick, if Todd? You, if you had a cooler that actually made its own ice and had a really, really interesting. Be called a freezer. Well, you should get one of those. Hang, uh, hang on. Before we go too far on this, I think we should reserve what we say because I think this might be a very good idea. To what? copyright and trademark a cooler that makes its own ice. If we could figure that out, we didn't keep being figured out. That's I, I'm telling you, buddy. We could. I. It's I'm already been done. No. <laughs> it's the one he's using that he doesn't want to give up. <laughs> You've not heard of an, an automatic ice maker? That's not a cooler. What do you, how do you? How do you think the cubes stay cold in an automatic ice maker? But, it, but that's an automatic ice maker. You don't put beers to keep them cold in the in the ice maker. Exactly. That's what Corey's. Uh, if you have a larger form factor, you do. But no one ever does. Okay. Todd, I'm telling you, <laughs> we, 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 have, we have a good idea here, buddy. It's already been done, I'm telling you. Where do you I, think that Jason stole this reserved sign that says Discover and Diners Club on it? Diners Club International? 
How old is Do this they guy? still exist? I don't even know. This is. It might as well be like a like a. That's from 1960. A marathon card. I think yeah. I, I think I commented on that the last time I was. Did you? <laughs> on, on Diners Club. Diners Club. My grandfather had one of those. <laughs> That's how the credit card started. It was the card that Steve Martin tried to pay for the hotel room with in planes, trains, and automobiles, but it burned up in the car. And that was in 1986. It still exists. It's owned by Discover. So Sears and Roebuck owns them. Corey was only two years old. I wasn't even born yet. Corey wasn't even born yet. So, yeah, no, Todd, this, yeah, this, it has Discover on the one side, and then the <laughs> Diners Club, uh, at some point, someone involved, associated with this bar, went to an event decades ago and was thinking to themselves, you know what we need? We need some reserve signs. I'm taking that for the party. <laughs> they made that decision, and they're like, mm, so, right, in the, right inside of the so coat I, pocket. I, I can tell you it was either Stan, Jason's dad. Got, yeah, that's probably got, true. Got to rest his soul. Yep. Uh, or or Jason. Here's so I, it's now official. I am going to apply for a diners club card. I gotta have one of those. Because I want to drop should. that bitch in there. Yep. It's you have to this? apply. You have to apply for them. It's a credit card. Well, I mean, back in the day, it it it, it was not. But they were a credit card whoa, whoa, back whoa. when you you back when credit cards didn't automatically pre pre apply. Right. Yeah. yeah they, you had to be like, excuse me, diners club. <laughs> I'm a. You get to be white. I'm not sure if you know who I am, but I'm Corey Slesky. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm a <laughs> bit of a big deal. Todd, you might be. You, you know what? You might actually get excluded even today. <laughs> gonna, so actually, I'm looking. Diners Club International releases the super premium black card. I will have one. Of those. A black card. I will have one. How racist is that? A black card. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I think it'd really only be racist if the card wasn't black. <laughs> no. <laughs> Says right now they can hide behind it. Well, the card's black. Look at the card. <laughs> you can't have one if you look like it. But... <laughs> yeah, that's not Todd's like, I must that's... have that card. <laughs> I know. I know. A status symbol. Yeah. Hey, I, Fuck I, the man. That's... That's Wait, how Todd rolls. Which have any of you guys been to a restaurant that you've seen? We accept the, diners club. I know that's what I want to do. I want to roll like, in see, and drop that everywhere. <laughs> see, see where just to you see their face going yeah. like, "Wait a minute, what? <laughs> what is this?" And you know what's even cooler? I'll bet you dollars for donuts if you drop it on the thing. You don't scan it or you don't ship it. They actually get the old freaking clunky thing where you have to do the sliding back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's no tapping. There's no chip. <laughs> There's, yeah, there's not even a, a, a stripe on the back. Oh, you, it's a chunk. You, 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 exactly. you guys don't have the old uh, <laughs> carbon copy <Ka-chunk>. machine? <laughs> they they mail out that 40 pound freaking slider yeah. thing. Every and, and everyone year. around the restaurant goes slider. like, Do you hear that kachunk? Someone's got a diner's club. Must be the black card. <laughs> 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 I I shall have one of these. I shall have. I shall have a diners club. You shall be mine, diners club card. <laughs> you shall be mine. And I'll plop it down at every manner of place. <laughs> Todd, get, Todd, 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 Todd goes in. Todd goes into Taco Bell. He's like, oh, have you seen <laughs> this Taco Bell? <laughs> Hold on, if you're talking about why wouldn't you accept the Diners Club? <laughs> it's a Diners it's Club. Not, it's Diners Club, not Diarrhea Club. <laughs> Any, oh, wow. Well, <laughs> well, okay. I Ooh. mean, fair enough, but Ouch. still. Sorry, Taco Bell. There goes our Taco Bell sponsorship. Speaking of Taco Bell, yeah. did you hear that there's a dude? We, I mean, when we get back to regular shows, did you? It's Britain this past week that doctors discovered a guy with three penises. Did you hear that? No, uh, you must be. What? What is the when hey, you hang, hang, when yeah. you open your email? Well, hang, hang on, real, real who's quick. Who's sending you this news? Is it threepenises.com? That's like, hey, guess what? Finally. Nope, nope. We're we're gonna back it up even further than that. Okay. Uh, where did Taco Bell come into play, there, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think that meat is? That's extra penis. <laughs> 
those, those, those are the penises. I'll give Todd credit for thinking on his feet off. to come up with that because he he did bring up Taco Bell and try. Oh, speaking of Taco Bell, had nothing to do with that. Yeah, Taco Bell. no, yeah. I, 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 I mean, yeah, good on him, but still, that's uh, yeah. Well done, Todd. That's an interesting, interesting segue. Um, he, he had three, two, three, three penises, two, one primary and two laggers. I guess they discovered he only. I guess he didn't realize. How could you? Did he not Hold on, are they, are they outside of his body? It's called trifalia. Seen for the very first time in 2020. See, that's what happens. That mad cow disease has now turned into people having three penises. Mad cow? How did you come back to mad cow disease? What do you think is in the Taco Bell tacos? Why are you just glossing over those dudes with two penises? You're like, nope, not even worthy of discussing. (laughs) We're going right to the tri failure. That's what I was going to say. I I feel bad now because I only have two. Yeah, the two dick guys are like, what about me? What about my problem? There's been a hundred cases of of, of die failure found. Yeah. Occurs once every 5.5 million live births. Okay. Usually doctors remove the extra penises. Why would you do that? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's. Why not do wieners? By the way, Dude, where, you, where, you, you, where is the second penis? Is it. Wait. <laughs> oh, there, we have a drop for that. We do. <laughs> <laughs> Even their wieners. <laughs> Probably for Danielle. Uh, yeah, where is the second penis? Is it. Is it it's in, the, in the vicinity spot. of the first one? So it's usually doctors or is it like on the shoulder? The one if it's externally business, they don't want they don't know anybody to be freaking stuck in their bedroom for the rest of the season. Yeah. Well, well, imagine how freaking you would leave if you had two wieners. <laughs> I think Corey's literally trying to explain to Daniel off camera that we're talking about guys with two dicks. No, no, no. no. Hey. <laughs> Just so well, you know, you I know you're not going to listen to the show, but in case we get any phone calls later, <laughs> this is why. <laughs> no, I don't have two dicks. No, that was just a mole. No need to be concerned. Yeah, here it is, Bob. Definition. Oh. Trifalia, a rare genital anomaly describing the presence of three distinct penis shafts. Three. Has been reported only once in literature. So I'm going to assume we've never seen uh, someone with quad failure. I would assume Four so. Four dicks. That would be. I mean, you only got two hands, Bob. And if you're doing, and if and, and, and it feels like the dude probably died because he's using two hands and a foot, two feet, <laughs> trying to work out his own problem. So here, here's my Russell question. Man. Here's my question. How do you jerk off three dicks at one time? You do one at I mean, first of all, <laughs> you, you, you mean, go to a brothel I mean, and take you, diners club. <laughs> <laughs> well played, well played. Yeah. yeah. But a. <laughs> <laughs> do you take diners club, man? <laughs> do I have three dicks? Of course, we take diners club. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I, I got a better one. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, <laughs> I, I already have a hard time taking care of my own. Is it a hard time? Two, two or two or three others. Another one. Can you imagine? Pat Dillon the, is on fire tonight. Can you imagine the morning I don't know why situation? I'm still evening. Yeah. In my brain. <laughs> Hey, could you imagine how hard it would be to masturbate with hard. three dicks? Hard. He said hard. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just thinking the there morning would. Yes. Oh, all right. Here we go. Here we go. Woo! Jumpier Gibbs for the touchdown. Oh, I could have told you that. Ten. No, you would have said Montgomery. Ten six. No, no. No, I'm, I'm watching my I'm watching my fantasy league, so I saw it. Oh, okay. So you're not paying, but you are living vicariously through the fantasy network exactly. to get your updates. Exactly. And he's not on my team. Now it was a hell of a good run. <laughs> oh, 
Old Payne didn't <laughs> want that. Old Payne. No love from Old Payne. Excellent. 10 7 Vikings. So uh, 13 minutes left in the second quarter. Todd, can I share to you the uh, the dream that I had a couple nights share ago? Share to me or share with me? Share with you. Of course you could. Yeah, so I, I don't know about you, Todd, but uh, I don't really, I don't remember. If I dream, I don't remember them. I do from time to time. It's very rare. And I've been told by by uh, Lady Frank Clark that, uh, no, I am actually dreaming. It's just uh, I'm not remembering them. Yep. So I go, okay, that's fine. So when I do have a dream that I remember, I really want to write it down or otherwise, you know, record it because it happens so infrequently that I remember it. So so two nights ago, I, I woke up in the middle of this dream and I forced myself to stay awake until I remembered the top five points of my dream. Nice. Would you like to hear the top five I, high points of my dream? I would love to. All right, number one. Frat House Musical. Number two, Santa Claus. Number three, John Cusack. Number four, Oyster Sausage. Don't ask what that is because I don't really know. And Oyster number, Sausage? Yep. And number five, Shitting Legos. Things those that don't li- exist. <laughs> These were all things that were in my dream. Yeah, all those things don't exist. I mean, you don't always dream of things that don't exist. Sometimes your dreams can have some fanciful, you know, make-believe things. No, none of those things exist. (laughs) Frat House Musical, Santa Claus exists. Well, okay, you're right. John Cusack definitely exists, though. No, he does not. He does. No. I've seen many of his films. fake. He's a fantastic actor. (laughs) That's fake film. Yeah. He's AI. So at some point during the dream... The, the, my frat brothers, Todd, Dylan included, had co- had completed. <laughs> Dude, Hold you'll on. be my hero if you tell me that your Todd Dylan, your Todd Dylan version had three penises and they're all in the MBJ. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, we had we had successfully completed the frat house musical that we had staged, nice. and people were enjoying their oyster sausage, I assume. And John Cusack came up to me and he's like, hey, I've had a great time, but I have to go. Over there, but I have, a, I have a favor to ask. Over there in the corner, there's a giant bucket of Legos, much like Todd's cooler. Uh, <laughs> he digs around that. Just digs it out. And he said there's, there's various Lego people sprinkled within that cooler. I'm going to need those, but I need to go. So what I need you to do is I need you to eat those and then later on shit them out and then send them to me. And I'm like, done. So, done, John so you're Cusack. Telling me AI done. Cusack asked you to mail him shit? No, he asked me to uh, ingest Lego people so I could later on shit them out and then send them to him, I assume, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> post postage. I had some, <laughs> some messed up dreams. Right. But that's... <laughs> yeah, that wow. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but now game. you understand why I, I'm like, I have to stay awake long enough so I remember what happened in this I dream. Know, yeah, I because right when, right, when he, right when I'm like, okay, John Cusack, I'm eating the Lego people, I'm like, no, and I woke up, and that was the end of the dream. <laughs> I can't. I dream- I, I don't know. And I'm I not going to lie, I, I thought it was, I'm like, I have to share this for the show. I actually uh, told that dream to people at Nick's house last night, but I stopped talking about it when Corey came to the room because I'm like, I, I'm going to talk about it on Sunday. So I don't want him to get it, any advanced word. Yeah, as you should not talk about it. Right. Yeah. Keep that to yourself. Exactly. Keep it to yourself. Exactly. That's, that's a dream you don't share with anyone. No, you should share all your dreams. Oh, fuck. I only wish that I had been uh, asleep long enough to ask John Cusack why... He couldn't just take them right then, and why I had to ingest them and then put them through my colon. Because he's goddamn John Cusack. <laughs> he, whatever he wants, he gets. L- listen, he was fantastic in uh, Gross Point Blank. Better Off Dead was, a, was an unbelievable the masterpiece. A- 
The AI always wants to fuck with your brain, Bob. <laughs> it's the AI. How is AI getting into my dreams? That's what I want to know. That's John Cusack. That's, that's, it's, it's not so, AI getting into your dreams. It's John Cusack. It's John Cusack getting right. into your dreams. Okay, that that makes no sense. So, so we have to deal with John Cusack. Exactly. Before Listen, we deal really with AI. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. People he may worry about killing robots. I'm worried about John Cusack. Y- yes, you should be. <laughs> he's coming for you. Yeah. Buddy. He's asking you to. Who he's a- asking you to eat Legos. <laughs> and then, and then he did. shit him out and mail him to him. I mean, he must have assumed that I also had to leave the party and him? people were going to be frisking me for Legos. And so he's like, you got to fuck it. Just go it. Put these down your gullet. Like later heroin. on, you'll like, deal with it. Like, like a balloon of heroin. Yeah. It's, but later wait, later but, on, and then send them but, to me. But, but Legos. Yeah. But Legos. Yeah, man. I'd suggest, I, I, I'd suggest I, Bob, that you file down the corners <laughs> on those Legos before you eat them. <laughs> That's, yeah. <laughs> it's, they're gonna be, they're gonna be very painful coming out. Yeah. I, 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 I think, I think you take Todd's idea and file. Yeah. <laughs> Just make them as smooth as possible. Like Lego, Lego vitamins, basically, is what you're yeah. saying. <laughs> yeah. Get rid of all those sharp edges. Yeah. Exactly. I think it's a great idea. Thanks, Todd. <laughs> you're welcome. Todd Dylan always adding here, value to here the to podcast. Help. Here to help. T- Todd. Here to Todd. help. T- tonight, Bob's going home, and whatever bit of what are you Lego, doing? Whatever bit of Legos, Legos that are left in the house, yeah. he's falling down. Yeah, just the people. Yeah, he, uh, oh he, no, the, he didn't the, want he didn't no. want any random brick. He's he, like just the Lego people. The pe- okay, well, the, then the people are, but the heads are fine. Those will come out easily. Yeah, uh, if it was just Lego heads, it would have been no problem. Yeah, the the bodies though. Yeah, you might you might need to do some work on those. Especially if it's like the astronaut guy with the with the backpack. Well, yeah, you can't have that's no good. That's a that's a that's gonna be a rough session in the bathroom. I mean, if you're Kinder Bueno, if you're not (laughs) known for anything else, it's your tight butthole. Uh, So, I think that you heard it here first, folks. It only took 300 episodes, but I heard it from Nick two episodes. You just made oh, Corey's you day. Not in movie night, you motherfucker. <laughs> you just, <laughs> that's what you get. <laughs> that's what you uh, get. Man, okay, I ooh, I gotta collect myself. <laughs> but I will say that's what 10 a.m. drinking will do, Corey. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, yeah. Drinking. Um, I remember a, a, a remembering your dreams is uh, I think it's it's critical because I there's a dream that I, I think I. I I just gotten married, and I remember the dream that I had. It was uh, it in in New York City. There was like a roller coaster that that was set up to go like all around the top of the tallest buildings in New York City, which at the time were probably included the World Trade Center. Wow! It's and too soon. And too it was uh, it was I was the only one on the roller coaster except for Kelsey Grammer, who was chasing me uh, to. Retrieve the sunglasses of power. How come it is you have all these actors that don't really exist <laughs> in your dreams? Todd, Todd, I, I think I think we might have to have an intervention with Bob. I know, and, and his acid addiction, because the only way you have those dreams is on acid. Not true. <laughs> you don't dream on acid, Corey. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's, well, a, that's a rookie. Well, now you, now what you just told me something about yourself. What kind of a weirdo thinks that that's? Yeah, there's no dreaming on acid, Corey. That's the beauty of acid. Yeah, it is the it is the dream, right, Todd? Guess, guess I'm the only one here that's never done acid. <laughs> but yeah, you, I, re- I read, I read, I read about that. Uh, you know, you read about it. Okay, right. yeah, to, to acid prepare. monthly. Exactly. <laughs> So if you don't dream on ass, what, what, what do you? You just. I mean, I'm assuming. First of all, you'd never be asleep on acid ever. <laughs> I feel like there's a point you're gonna no. be asleep. No, nope. no, there's not. Not there isn't. <laughs> as soon as you're as soon as you're sleeping, or you're not no longer on acid. If you if you had been if you had been awake for 36 right, hours well, and then you took acid, you still are gonna be awake for another 
18 hours minimum. All right. Well, that just answered my yeah. That just answered my own question. Yeah. Uh, there you go. I, I, I'm the only one here. That's uh, that's never done that. So. But if you get yourself a diner's club card, then you can exactly. enter those exclusive exactly. club. Exactly. <laughs> I gotta figure out what what's that little what's the confunk thing called? What's the what? The little the, the, the what's the, the the machine that you that you take that you would that you run that through the the little uh, it's like the a manual. It, it's a credit, credit card. Uh, Mimeograph? T- no, t- uh, Todd. Just, I would say <laughs> Google manual credit card machine. Yeah. I feel like you should bring well, that. I'm going to duck, duck, go it, Corey. <laughs> it's a, it's called a credit card <laughs> imprinter. Colloquially, colloquially, oh, wow, that's a tough one. Colloquial, <laughs> colloquially, <laughs> got it. <laughs> got it. <laughs> it takes so long. <laughs> say, you say it. <laughs> no. You say it because you can't. Colloquially? <laughs> Colloquial. Colloquially. Todd got it on the second try. I got it on the well, first I, try. I said the shorter version to get ready. <laughs> Known as a zip zap machine, a click like machine, or a knuckle buster. That's is a, it. Yep. Is a manual device that was used by merchants to record credit card transactions before the advent of payment tr- terminals. So, t- Todd, here, yes, here's. Sir. You can still get one. You, you, get, you get your diner's phone card. Machine. And your own zip zap machine. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> or the knuckle, 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 bu- knuckle buster? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I'm putting money. I, I will I will send you money just for you to film yourself going Ch- around. Ch- yeah. But hey Bob. Yeah. Knuckle busters and envy jars. Knuckle what? Knuckle busters and envy jars. That sounds like a great title, baby. I I got the knuckle busters, but after that I I'm missing. Envy jars. Saying. And en- jars. envy jars. Oh, callback to what you guys are talking about. <laughs> yeah. All right, done. I mean, it's less work for me. And by the way, and by the way, no. this is getting like a no. three-hour episode. No, the that's, less work I have to do, the better. That's no. perfect title. No. no, that's not how that goes, Todd. <laughs> John I, Cusack. I know how it goes. How are, you, how are you telling him how it goes? <laughs> because. He can't just say something and then be like, oh, that's the title. That's the t- I, I, that, I was throwing out there you're for right. consideration. You're right. Uh, I was out there for consideration. In the cold light of day, Corey, tomorrow or on Monday, I will. Tomorrow's Monday. I keep thinking it's Saturday. <laughs> you said. I keep thinking it's Saturday Bucks night, actually. And then we can. <laughs> I would listen back to it. I would be like, no, you can't force it. Like that. That's, that's not how it works. A I will frat tell house you. Musical. <laughs> I also don't need to. I, I would rather that it wasn't something that I said that became the title. Um, but if it's something I didn't come up with, like Knuckle Buster was, was not something I came up with, that's that's not bad. There we go. Lions first down. But Envy Jars is something that Todd just came up with off the top of his head, and that earlier on is in the running. Yeah, but because he said it, I could just start <laughs> rattling off crazy terms and be like, "Oh, create the t- that." But he, he clearly didn't start say rattling it. him off then, Corey. <laughs> Do it right now. Penis filibuster, uh, old paint. That's mine. <laughs> guy with a walker. There's <laughs> actually a guy, guy with, with a walker. That's there's a, creative. <laughs> there's actually a guy with a walker in front of us right now. <laughs> Gubernatorial mouth job. Get, get some. Get somebody oh, up there who. Yeah, I forgot, one, I forgot, get, why don't you I, get one of those elderly paints up there so we can ask him a trivia question? I, that, now I get into the real trivia. Because they're not going to understand how this newfangled like uh, electricity and the voice through, voice through wires works. <laughs> Todd, Todd, some of these guys are so old. If they how came up here, and, they, uh, we're going to say. How old are they? We're going to say uh, at uh, least uh, north of eighty-five. That's not how you answer that, that chant, exactly. that oh. cheer. Sorry. You're, you should have said something like, they're so, they? they're so they're old, so old that they're bald dot, dot, dot. Here. Exactly. Then the oh. office furniture at a Home Depot. <laughs> I guess I'm too young to understand that <laughs> reference. 
<laughs> that's actually pretty, that's a pretty good. That's pretty thank good. you. Thank you. I'm top of my head, too. Yeah. I, I doff my uh, non-existent cap tees. Yeah. So, sorry, you two old fucks. <laughs> How but, old are they? Corey's like, I think they're 85. <laughs> <He's listening. laughs> I can't help it that you two guys are so old that you can come up with references. How old are they? I got them. <laughs> there, there we go. go. Your boy, St. Brown. I'm in, I'm in Ross St. Brown from University of... Uh, wait, was this the, uh, uh, the, was this the, the, easy the rubbers, <laughs> the rubbers question? The rubbers. Exactly. Didn't neither one of us do it? Exactly. <laughs> USC. There you go. Oh, yeah. The Trojans. The Trojans. Yeah. The Trojans. Yeah. Yes. I, I fucking started this little two cycle wee whacker of a brain up and remembered what Todd said one week ago. That's the first thing you've remembered in seven years. It is. It's really horrible. <laughs> and I apologize to my family and friends and everyone else who's been affected by that horrible memory. 14-10, Detroit on top in the second quarter with 8.39 left to play. Dude, I cannot wait to see Gladiator 2. Are you kidding me? Word. I don't like know. an amazing flick. I do not know, because Paul Mescal is a bad motherfucker, and Pedro Pascal... I mean, that dude from Narcos and everything else he's done, yeah, Last of Us. It's weird. So they, so there was a second Roman Empire that they covered. No, no, no. S- same. So, uh, so spoiler alert. Paul Mescal is supposed to be playing the son of Joaquin Phoenix's character, who was in the first movie. Oh, Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah, he's he's a good actor. Uh, yeah, he's, he, he's, he played. Uh, he's no John Cusack. He's that well. Who? Is, not many people no, are. But he's. Uh, Neither is Kelsey Grammer. For that yeah. What? What is Joaquin Phoenix? Do? He was Joker. Yeah. Yeah. He's he's still playing the Joker, correct? They just released no, Joker too. No, that's River too. Phoenix. No. Well, no. No. Wa- no, no River wa- Phoenix. Uh, OD'd. Is in heaven. Yes. And God wa- rest his soul. And Joaquin's still around. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They just made him. Him and uh, Lady Gaga made Joker two. Okay. Just recently. It got really, 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 really great. People, uh, people reviews. don't seem to like the fact that it was a musical, <laughs> <laughs> despite it being marketed as being a musical. They're like, wait a minute. I know I was told it was a musical, but then I went to watch it, and there was actually singing. Yeah, singing and no dudes eating Legos and shitting them out. John Cusack wasn't in it. Well. I mean, I would, I would have been there. I would have been first online in the theater for that one. That would be the perfect Joker movie. Maybe I'm in there somewhere, eating and shitting out the Legos That's at it. John Cusack's command. Legoman. <laughs> Legoman. <laughs> That's a callback to episode 167 where Todd, Todd Dylan, uh, Todd's pronunciation of superhero names uh, is of the Jewish of of the the, the Jewish the Jewish variety. variety. Yeah, Spider Man, Superman, <laughs> Batman, and Lego Man. Lego Man. And, and never forget about Wiseman. <laughs> so sorry, so sorry, Todd. That's yeah. <laughs> Our, remember, our bad, Todd. Remember how how freaking beguiled Nick was when, I, when he, he was. Yeah, <laughs> that that tickled him for like the next forty episodes. And, but you know what's funny? The Kingsman is actually how it's pronounced. <laughs> yeah. No, Todd said Kingsman. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's the Kingsman. <laughs> What are, we, what are we talking about? We got, we got derailed. I feel like we were... <laughs> we're talking about three yeah. penises and Taco Bell. Oh, that was a little while ago, but yes. <laughs> Trifalia and uh, using Diner's Club at, at a Taco Bell. Exactly. And then we digressed into Trifalia. <laughs> I think you should use your diner, Diner's Club card to, to give the offering at, at church. 
for the plate. Let's see if they Using take that. a knuckle buster. Yeah. <laughs> you just you drag out the knuckle buster. <laughs> you just get, you carbon copy it and then put it in the, in the tray. You hear in the second from the last pew, chunk chunk. Everybody's like, oh yeah, g- yeah. Go, going back to that, Todd. I, again, I will give you money to just whatever it costs to buy a knuckle buster machine. <laughs> They cannot then, be expensive. Then anywhere yeah, you a, go, I see one for a pre-owned one on eBay for twenty bucks. Well, twenty I, bucks. I I will give you ten for it. <laughs> and then anywhere you go, you take that machine with you. <laughs> and when they tell you they don't accept Diners Club, <laughs> you just pull that machine out. <laughs> exactly. Oh, you do now. <laughs> yes. You do now. Sir. You. What if you, I told you that I could give you, you a carbon imprint? You co- of my diner club card. You copy it and hand it to him. And what go, is that? There you go. go. <laughs> Present it like this, like like they used to do with the, with the jewelry and the Price is Right. Just- and you say that's that's better than money. Yeah. Speaking of that, <laughs> have you guys watched this ripoff show, The New Price is Right, with freaking Drew Carey? It's freaking horrible. I well, horrible you can't you can't top Bob Barker. Well, it's not even it's not even the fact that Drew Carey's a skinnier version of a not good. Of himself, that, and he's not as funny. But it's the fact that these games are rigged, hardcore rigged. They've always been rigged, but rigged in the worst way, and not for nothing. Like every new, every prize now is a new car. It's a new car. It's like every single one. Nobody's winning refrigerators or freaking trips to well, Puerto To be honest that. with you, uh, a new car means a lot more today than it used to be. I mean, pretty right now, yeah, but, a new car is fucking like it, it, it's out of your price range. Whatever it is that you're looking at. You can't afford it. I get it, and that's why. Again, the prices that what so people have to guess ultimately play a game where they guess the prices, right. and it's all bullshit. Like, oh, no, you need to. All you need to do is get all the numbers right, and it's like the price of the car is like forty six thousand two hundred ninety two dollars. Okay, so Todd, I, I I'm right there with you because yeah, they they used to have like oh you get two brand new jet skis. And people are like, well, I don't even live on a lake. <laughs> like, so, I, I live so, in a walk-up apartment yeah. in the Lower East Side. Yeah. <laughs> what am I going to do? Not with even close to a body of water. No. I, I can't do anything with that. Or, a, oh, you get a new trailer home. And people are like, well, I already live in a trailer home. So I, what am I going to do with the second one? It gets even better. One of the prizes people were, were trying to guess the price of was... Uh, Ferragamo driving driving slippers and gloves. Interception? Sorry, sorry. Brian Dad. Branch. You, you got you got drowned out there by the that's interception right. by the Lions. No, I, I was saying that uh, I was watching the prices right, and one of the things that they were bidding on was uh, Ferragamo driving slippers and glove uh, driving slippers and glove combinations. Fair and spoiler alert, they were more than two thousand dollars, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Driving slippers. <laughs> I'm like, and it must come with the Diners Club card. I'm like, who wears driving What slippers a catch. That was a great interception. Good lord. Oh, my dad had driving gloves. Uh Fer- I didn't know Ferragamo was a brand. It sounds like the name of a scientist from the nineteen sixties. What are you doing, bro? Oh, why am I not down with the the manufacturer of $2,000 driving gloves? That's... Ferragamo is absolutely a luxury brand. If you don't... And I bet you can use my diner's club. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Yes. Todd, so let me ask you. Did you... Did your... So you said... I would like to buy your driving gloves, please. You said your dad wore driving gloves. Yes, he did. Did he ever give you a reason of why? No, I just... Dude... Yeah, he had no, a diners club too. <laughs> I'm sure he did, but that, yeah. that's that's the thing with drivers gloves. I don't think I've ever heard of reason, ever from anyone, Dude, of Bob. why why you wear drivers gloves. Yeah, and why don't you? I knew drivers glove made more sense than driving slippers. Because here's I just found them. Bear, check if Nick Corey if you have, if anybody has access to the internet over there. Ferragamo Met driver <clears throat> was Gansini. Ornament blue, seven hundred and fifty dollars. Wow! And the That's blue a- is Honolulu blue, baby. How about that? Wow! 
I did not I'm gonna, know that. I'm going to answer your question, Corey. The reason why you wear driving gloves is when you steal the car, you don't leave prints anywhere. Well, or or I, if you kill someone and then you throw them in the trunk and then you drive their car off the, like, over the cliff, I, you, you, those driving gloves are going to come in handy. I feel like that's a tiny bit racist, but okay. Why is it racist? Because <laughs> I'm talking about Todd's dad. No, I'm Wait. saying this is when you wear driving gloves. No, I think a lot of people wore them just to drive. I think that's you're the part talking, where you're like, I don't understand just, why people are wearing these. Todd, I apologize. You literally, Bob, Bob, you Bob. literally <laughs> just said, I don't understand why people wear driving gloves. And I'm like, I'll and, jump in and, here. And, and, yeah, and Bob immediately went to black guys stealing cars. Nope, uh, never said who was stealing the car. And he said they were black guys. Corey, they're brown See, people. That's when you that's when you wear driving gloves. It's if you stole a car or if you killed someone and then drove their car off a cliff. I think this is pretty well known. Uh, I don't think it is because I, I think it's, it's a pretty I, popular opinion. I would not have asked that question. I don't think it's an unpopular opinion. I'll say that. All right. Well, you believe what you want to believe. If I call this little boy up here. When the Hutchinson yeah, let's not, no, shirt, let's, let's and I not said, when, "When do you think you wear driving gloves?" I guarantee you, he would say, "What if I killed someone and had to drive their car?" First exactly. of all, and I'd be like, "Exactly, kid." He's gonna look now get at the you hell out like of here. you're insane. Then they all do. That's fine. I am used all, to that. All the little kids you yes. want to approach, him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> including yeah. my own, yeah, including my own. As they, I'd be like, all right, kid, get out of here. As they should. <laughs> Go away, kid. You bother me. And he's not gonna know what driving gloves are. No, that kid looks like he knows who what driving gloves are. Well, you know what? I'm going to go out on a limb here. <laughs> go ask him. There you go. Yeah. I, if I had had maybe five or six more of these delicious black cherry high noon seltzers, I might actually go ask him. Oh, wait. Is he coming up here? <laughs> Hold on a second. Colleen, whatever her name is. <laughs> Carol. <laughs> Carol. Can we get five You're more? You're so bad with names. How are you so bad with names? Because I only remember the people I appreciate, Bob. Oh. Nice there recovery. Oh, oh, that was a late hit. No flag yeah, on that. He was literally down. Wow. All right. Check your text, Corey. I, I, oh, boy. I, I just oh, saw Oh, boy. <laughs> so exciting. Ferragamo shot. <laughs> No one sends a link to the that's, Ferragamo shop. That's such a huge link. <laughs> there's two, no, no, there's two it's links an in there. link, Corey. There's two links in there. <laughs> he sent the same link twice. <laughs> oh, okay, well, holy shit. I'm continuing without accepting. Look at those shoes. Driver, yeah, driver with. <laughs> those are Honolulu blue, though. Cancini can ornament. I, can I, uh, can I show this on the, on the. Yeah. yeah. I'll take those for Christmas. Can, <laughs> oh, that's good. That's what you'll take for Christmas? $750. Dude, those will go with my Corvette. That'll be perfect. Thank you. You should. I mean, I mean you should. I love, I love that he didn't send a link to driver's gloves. He's like, look at these shoes. <laughs> the guy who's got like 70 pairs of shoes in his closet it's like, I don't, even, I don't think these guys need to see anything about the gloves. It, it, right, and you, the other part is that they're ugly as shit, too. <laughs> they're driving oh, shoes, Corey. You, first of all, do you, you know how big Todd's feet are? The, there's no way they make a pair of shoes that are going to fit, fit Todd's feet. True, buddy. Look at the size of baby. Look you need like a brother. double wide. Up to, up to size 14 triple E, bitch. Triple E, I think. Uh, do you wear a triple E? I do not. You, it's at least got to be a single E. Single E, got it. Okay. So, Todd, you know, you know what's funny is I, so I, <laughs> I have a pair of, they're called Sanooks that look <laughs> basically the same. No, except, no, you don't. Except without the the yeah. pedal form on the bottom. And they're not Hon and, Honolulu. And they're not, not Ferragamo's either. Right. Well, and, yeah, and there's no weird You paid twelve ninety five for them there, at there's uh, no weird fashion buckle footwear. on the shop. Uh, yeah, and they cost about Is that a diamond bucks. encrusted buckle? Are those buckles diamond encrusted? No. 
No, they're just stupid just looking. Plain old buckles, dude. Yeah. Fair, dude, fair guy. I'm Bob. I'm surprised you haven't heard of fair guy. I I that really had ult- not. One of the ultimate luxury brands. Well, I love learning about new things, Todd. Don't you, 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 everybody should have a pair of uh, fair guy cufflinks, man. And between uh, Diners Club knuckle busters and Ferragamo, uh, I'm just going to call them pimp shoes. Because <laughs> that's all I think about is like Dr. Detroit or Night Shift <laughs> when I look at those shoes. Yeah, they're, pre- they're pretty bad. Dr. Detroit. Have you ever watched that movie before? Bad meaning good. I have not. Listen, if, if one night you're ever going like, I love Dan Aykroyd. But I wish I could watch him playing a, a a guy who's got a secret alter ego as a as a crazy pimp. Doctor Detroit is for you. Well, that yeah, okay. Just keep that in mind. I will tell you guys, uh, yeah. th- there are two movies coming down the pipeline when we do Gentleman's Agreement. Uh, one's called Surfer Dude. Surfer comma dude. Yep, with Matthew McConaughey. I've heard of it. And the other is Beach Bum. Also Beach comma bum? Nope, just Beach Damn Bum. Damn it. With Matthew McConaughey. So, so if you watch them back to back, it's like four hours of classic surf dude McConaughey? McConaughey's yeah. going to get canceled. This Texas Longhorns got thumped yesterday <laughs> by the Bulldogs. <laughs> I, I think these got... It, that's, I don't think he'll be canceled by that, but... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hey, if you're going to be running around on the sidelines flexing like you're on the team, you're going to get freaking kicked off the freaking ship. I, I mean, I beat my beloved Wolverines who lost to Chief Lenawak yesterday. That's why I can't even oh, wear a damn did. Michigan jersey. Yep. Yeah, they got thumped. That's too many woodsheds for the Wolverines. They suck. Yeah. Is, is there a game coming up on the rest of their schedule that, that they have a chance of winning? No. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> that was very quick. Nope. Indiana's I, good, dude. Indiana seven and zero. Oh. The they cool part is, I I know from that answer that Todd's literally thought about that and 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 you know gave it some serious like noodling. He's like, nope, I have determined that there is no chance. For the they suck. They My suck. Ca- In case anyone Butter asks home. me, it'll be a quick no. My calculations say negative. <laughs> <laughs> Their butt suck. They they suck buttermilk. He is a human eight ball. <laughs> yeah. Yes. No. Maybe. <laughs> but how about the point to no? I'm a I'm a Hoosier fan now. Hoosier no. Fan. Now you are. Oh hell yeah! Freaking Indiana! I'm jumping on that bandwagon. You fair weather fan. Fair I'm just gonna weather. throw throw out a random Sh- fact I heard yesterday. Uh, kicking me in the paint today. God bless America. Army and Navy both undefeated. For the first time since 1924. Watch the game. There we go. Drew gives the touchdown. Got one in right before the end of that. 26 seconds left left in the first half. How funny is that? That no matter how we come, come, how we do this, I'm still always ahead of you guys. How are you watching the game? I told you, I got my fantasy feed up. Oh. Does that mean if Montgomery had ran that in, you wouldn't have known about it? I would have. I'd have watched I'd have seen, I'd have seen the score pick up on another team. All right. Yeah. Because I got to tell you, Corey, I, I feel like we were both uh, concerned in the first five minutes of the game. Oh, very. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah. okay. You guys don't well, know how football works or how many minutes there <laughs> are in a game. Hold on. <laughs> oh, what's that, I, Todd? You're, you're, you're starting to cut I off. Just, I just like to give a funny answer, Todd. <laughs> but to go into the half up 21-10 is going to be a good feeling. What if I told you you didn't go up in the half? Up twenty one ten. Would you be bummed? Fuck you. You're not tracking the tickers. You're not tracking the kickers too. 
So I saw on my fantasy feed that the kicker missed the kick, <laughs> missed the extra point. No, I just wanted, I just wanted to rain on you. You're yeah. Going to the to rain on you a bit. Fuck you, Todd. <laughs> Just remember that I was not the one that said that. <laughs> so what have we learned? You said, in this first "Fuck you, Boo. <laughs> Major. What have we learned good, in, this, good in this first half, Corey? <laughs> We've learned that the 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 name of a old school credit card and printer is a knuckle knuckle buster. Yes. Or yep. a zip zip zap machine. Zip zap. Or a click clack machine. <laughs> no, no, that was never said. Yeah. I like that. You never said I like it. That. I did. Hey, if you read it, you... I said click clack before the knuckle buster. Did you? I did. All right. I, I'll go back and review the tape. Because they were all kind of cool. What else did we learn? Uh, old paint. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a table full of old paints? Has to uh. pee a lot. <laughs> we learned that uh, Diners Club, despite what you think, is not accepted everywhere. <laughs> but, it, but it does still exist. But it is, Bob. It, it, it is. <laughs> As, so long as, and then as, the, as long as you make it exist. The newest member of its <laughs> highest echelon of, of card holders is going to be Todd Dillon. It will be. I, I can't. Dude, I would love to see the, the face of the dude. Like the, I can imagine their call center is quiet as fuck. <laughs> the call like, center? Somebody just applied for a card. <laughs> do, you, do you think that they have a call center? <laughs> their call center of one person. <laughs> And I was just going to do a very, very bad accent, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to. I'm not going to let you guys bait me into doing a bad overseas. You, I you, thought you were going to do like a. You're not going to do the Indian accent. All right, we got you, buddy. We got you. Hello. What? Hold on. Did you say Diners Club? <laughs> I didn't even know this phone still worked. Actually, uh, actually, the, you, their call center's in Draper, Utah. <laughs> Fucking Mormons. It figures. <laughs> it figures. Well, never never giving up. While they're busy taking care of their wives. <laughs> <laughs> How awesome would it be to have the Diners Club call center filled with just the wives of one Mormon? <laughs> <laughs> it probably is. <laughs> If that's where it exists at, then I... But, I, sir, there are, like, two dozen women here. He's like, I know. <laughs> They're all mine. Yeah. <coughs> Bob, Bob's got a bit of a cough. Sorry, guys. I, I hear. I hear. All right. Looks so like we're you going guys limp, limped into the half. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, I'm we're, back. Limped hey, into back. halftime. See you in the second half. Sounds like a plan, my man. Excellent, sir. Are we back? We are back. And we're back. Todd's been waiting. He may be muted. I don't know. Yeah, I know he's not. Uh, I, he's not on our end. No, on his end, of course. Oh. All right, so we got uh, second half going here. I don't, I don't know about you, Corey, but I feel like uh, the bar is set pretty high for us now. In the first first half, we covered uh, shitting out Legos. We covered Diners Club cards, uh, knuckle busters. Yeah, I don't know what else we we could possibly cover now at this point. I mean, th- those topics are all great enough where we could just continue to talk about them for the rest of the game. Very true. Very true. Todd, you back? Still can't hear you, buddy. You back, back buddy? baby. There, there he's we back. go. There he is. Back in black, baby. <laughs> oh, somebody kicked the camera. Oh, the light came off. I thought, isn't, wasn't that an old school game, Bob, when you were young? The kick the cam? Kick the, kick the camera? <laughs> Now I just missed the kick the can days. I understood you were you were a big kick the can enthusiast. (laughs) 
I was in the hide and go get it gang. The hide and go get it. <laughs> Is that the name of the game you play? Hide and go get it. Don't you mean hide and seek? Nope. No, no, baby. Hide and go get it. Go, hide and go get it, baby. <laughs> That's, Corey, a are you that, to this? that's a player's game. That's a player's <laughs> game, Bob. That's yeah. a player's game. <laughs> yeah. People who play hide and go get it aren't used to losing. You're always winning if you're getting it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> hide and go get it. Were you fucking sitting on that the whole day? For my whole life, Bob. <laughs> Go get it. If you hadn't said kick the can, if you hadn't said kick the can, (laughs) yeah, right. I'd have forgot about go get it. What other (laughs) shitty things could I say to prompt such a fucking nugget of comedy from you? (laughs) I didn't go get it. God damn it! That's that is that might be. It's in the running. Fuck yes, it is. You know why? Because you didn't start off by saying, and I'll tell you what I called it, and this should be the episode <laughs> title, Hide and Go Get It. <laughs> by Corey's rules, anyway. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you bring it back. I'm bringing it. You bring it. I got, I got a freaking kick on oh! my face. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit! Is that so, Branch? I, so they they completed the pass down the sideline. I thought he was going out of bounds. I literally looked away from the television. But as oh, so, Carlton Davis stripped the ball right at the sidelines. Now, it, I guess that maybe that's the challenge. If he was out of bounds when he fumbled, then it doesn't count. But if they didn't call him out of bounds. He stripped that ball. It's a fumble that Branch recovered and ran it back for a TD. You're not going to find that from your fantasy football league. You're not going to find that at all, baby. Yeah. Look at Branch. Hey, you know what, you know what else happened though just now? What's that? Amari Cooper from the University of. What about him? Amari Cooper. Yeah. He caught his first touchdown pass. Oh, he caught his first touchdown pass. Sorry. As a Buffalo Bill. Oh, okay. Amari Cooper from? USC? <laughs> I, my my oh, default God. answer is now always USC. Oh, my God. Well, you got to go with Mary's <laughs> default answer. University of Michigan, baby. Oh, is that Wolverine? her default? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, they're reviewing it right now. Default answer for any questions from me, Bob, around college athletics. Default to Michigan, and then, and then USC. If I say something about condoms, <laughs> the, con- the condoms, go condoms. Word. Speaking of condoms, Nick Chubb is is back and is having a good game. Who? Nick Chubb, the Cleveland Brown, from the Cleveland Browns. Who's the, uh, the the Georgia I, product? I thought uh, I, I I just heard over the over the half that uh, the Browns QB went down. Oh, Deshaun? He's been yeah. horrible. He's like been horrible. like I had to be taken off the field now. Oh, I didn't hear that. I didn't. I don't know that. I didn't know that. But I they can't so. do much worse. No, that's true. Okay, I'm watching that nice fumble pickup. And you think he was out of bounds? That looks like yep. a touchdown to me. Deshaun that looks like a Watson. Touchdown to me. Well, maybe they're going to say it depends on the angle. Maybe uh, if if all of his foot needs to be in bounds, then we might. All of be his fine. foot does need to be in bounds. Let me see here. Yeah, Deshaun Watson leaves game late oh, in the first half. Oh, 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 the receiver's foot was out of bounds. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. And he had possession of the ball. Right. It's coming back, Bob. Coming back. Yeah. Just come back. Uh, Deshaun Watson leaves game late in first half versus Bengals after suffering non-contact injury. Carted off the field. His water broke. (laughs) 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 And 
now Jason wants to turn the air on. No, he did that. I thought he turned it on before. Yeah, that's that's what he wanted to pull me with the podcast to tell me that he's turning the air on. Yeah. I, I'm like, dude, we're recording here. It's, it's, it's been 120 he's like, listen, degrees. Listen, listen, let me here. tell you. Like, see, why can't they turn the air on? I can, why, this is why I have to come here. No one turns the air on. No the fans are on. And I'm like, Jason, you can see we're, I'm literally, t- I was literally in the middle of a sentence. He's like, hey, hey, hey. I'm like, okay, right. yeah, what? Yeah, he doesn't care about that. <laughs> nope. Some of the old paints just don't understand show business. How, how, how come nobody's coming up to do any trivia, man? I got all manner of easy to ask questions. Uh, I think we can get Jason up here. I thought we're, Jason's good, right? Um, I don't think he's. I think Patrick's better on trivia. Yeah, to oh be yeah. honest with you. It, right. But if these are easy ones, I, maybe I, I some, should. I got some layups for. for I got some layups for, for Jason. Okay. I do. Okay, he Herman was Herman Morris' clearly, dog's name, and he was clearly, clearly. Why are they reviewing this? He was twelve inches out of bounds. No, that's his foot. I think that's yeah, the MBJ. Well, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, I get that. Yeah, yeah, he was way out of bounds. No, he wasn't. I, and I got no. a, I got a beef, Bob. His foot. Is now, if the whole foot needs to be in, but it, but the whole foot wasn't touching. No part of his foot was touching. Out hang of on, bounds. Hang on. Not a grievance, Bob. Reversed, yeah. Yeah. What's your grievance? Oh, my hang grievance. on. Hang on. Oh, we, all right. We, we have a picture and music for this. With the airing of bricks. Yeah, yeah, boy. Do you remember when Todd tried to sing, the, tried to do the, the grievance rap? I got a beef. <laughs> nah, more like a G, like more like a grievance. I forgot. I, gotta, I forgot like, my God, words. Hey, fucked up my rhyme, damn it! I, did, I, did. I used to have a rhyme, didn't I? I have listened to that clip beat. more times than nah, any other like clip. more like a grievance. <laughs> <laughs> more times than any other clip we've ever we've ever put out. I know, dude. I, I still got, I got to, I got to freaking dig up the words. I got to re- rehearse. I like my first my, my first. I like my first line. Whoa, shit. You can play it again. We'd love that. All right, what's your people always tell People always tell me they want to hear more of that. <laughs> That's true. Stop so holding here's, me down. Here's my grievance. Yeah. What the fuck is up with these games being played at London early in the day or any time where I have to watch it at 6.30 in the freaking morning? This is – I get that we're trying to expand the NFL audience with them playing in, in Europe, and I think yeah. Jacksonville is horrible. And I think horrible teams should go and play in Europe because they need every they need every advantage they can get. I think playing overseas, although they won today, is not to their advantage. So my beef is my grievance is this: make the game so that it can. Unless I'm in Hawaii, I don't want to watch football at six thirty in the morning. Right. It should not. Get, and I know that for even even for you for you East Coasters, nine thirty in the morning to start football. That's got to be. That's got to suck butts, doesn't it? Yes. I mean, yeah. It, it 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 depends on who you are. Some people can get up at nine thirty on a Sunday. Others, not. It's so not much. even about getting. up. It's about again. What you, you, it's a Sunday anyway, and so you want to. We like to have a libation or two. <laughs> but who wants to have what? a? Li- I mean, it's already a stretch to have a libation at ten in the morning. Let alone six thirty in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Todd, I, I, I think you, you should definitely anytime it's six thirty in the morning you should have one. <laughs> it's gonna make it's gonna make the rest of the day very, very awkward. Because if you don't think I'm, I'm not gonna be chasing chasing folks around the house because I got that, that liquid courage in me. Oh, I know. That, that's what I'm saying. That, does does, that's Mar- why does Mary happen. know that? Like, oh, I need to fucking just lock shit down this afternoon because Todd's going to be on the prowl. Yeah, you know what? He's going he's gonna to want one of those mouth I, jobs. I, I'm, not, I'm, not tr- I'm not trying to get myself in any trouble. I don't know who the hell you're talking about, Bob. What are you talking? <laughs> what you're I, I hear words coming out of your face. Yeah. But I'm just telling you, I'm going to be on the prowl in a minute. <laughs> oh no! That was a hell of a catch. Yeah. I'm, gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna say. 
Yep, touchdown Vikings. That's what she said. Justin Jefferson's a... He's very good. He was... A, what was I just watching? Um, I can't remember what the name gonna, of the series was. You know where he's going to be really, really good, though, Bob? When? When he's on Dancing with the Stars. When he is, like, all washed <laughs> up. Yeah. I bet he wins, like, three or four of them in a row. Now, have you wa- did you watch Dancing with the Stars at all this, this Every, season? I, do you think that I watched Dancing with the Stars? Yes. Yeah, yes, I do. Yeah, you, you and Mary said. on the couch, 100%. No, 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 bro. So it doesn't matter. Even if he makes Dancing with the Stars, you're never going to watch it. But he but makes it. That he's going to do that gritty dance? Shit, I'm going to watch that. Um. <laughs> That was one of the worst dances by a black man I've ever seen in my entire life. You just say man. No. It's the black man? The black man. Anyway, yeah. sorry. <laughs> yes, the black man. I've seen you dance, and I don't even think that you get to make the comparative. Yeah, no. <laughs> first, first, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. First of all. You're you devoid have, of rhythm. Besides First of all, the, you, 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 you've only seen count. me dance at my wedding. You, you're devoid of rhythm. And you that is that. true. Yeah, yeah no, I, you, you are correct. I am insanely devoid of rhythm. That's why I don't dance. <laughs> <laughs> He's just gritty right now. He's looking, he, that's a gritty. I, 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 be I, slamming I, dancing with the stars. I'm watching them, Bob, every minute. Yeah. Yeah, no. That, that's 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 why I don't dance. Who's the dude from the Fresh? The, who's Carlton from the Fresh Prince? Carlton. That was What's actual the, name. Yeah, the, the actor's name. Yeah, he's like, I don't need you to change my character's name. Just make it my name. It's Carlton. Yeah, he'll be still. He'll be still freaking working people. In there. That dude's got mad rhythm. Corey, you you wanna you wanna find somebody to emulate? You'd be Carlton. That's who you're going to. Is Carlton? Dude, yeah, that dude's got oily hips, bro. Did you see um, the the girl who won gold for the U.S. for rugby doing Dancing with the Stars? No, because I don't watch it, Bob. Not until the gritty's in it. I would. <laughs> I would encourage you to watch uh, Ilona. I, I have not seen Ilona, her. Ilona Rugby is her name. No, it's not. Ilona, 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 Ilona <laughs> my pants off. Ilona my Ilona, pants off. Ilona Mar. <laughs> Woo! Ilona Mar. I'm standing okay. by that. Corey's right. about to tell me I'm wrong, but I fuck him. I'm standing behind that. He's looking it up. Um, Ilona Makar. I'm relatively sure she's gonna. he's going to tell me I'm right, but he may tell me I'm wrong. She had a two-person last, two, that one of those typing last names. I, I, I got to say, <laughs> I, just having watched her in the Olympics for rugby, I wouldn't want to fuck with her. She uh, she yeah, kick your uh, ass, Todd. So yeah, Alona Mar. Yeah, she was on Dancing with the Stars. That's uh, what she said she would kick see. your ass, Todd. You and your fourteen E shoes. Yeah, she wouldn't mess with my Ferragamos, bro. Holy shit. <laughs> she, no, dude, she, oh, she, she's a beast. Pull, pull up a clip of her in, in, in the Olympics rugby match. Oh, boy. I, I, that's an address. She's looking all sexy and shit. But video for the What's your name again? Ilona McCarr, but regretted it? I-L-O-N-A, Ilona, Mar, M-A-H-E-R. So definitely, Schnauzcast listeners and viewers. M A H A R, Mr. M A H E R. A R. Oh, no, I'm pretty sure it's E R. Never mind. No, it's E R. Yeah, uh, right. I'll take your apology right now. Your apology. Oh! Right. Hell of a catch by David Montgomery. Sorry, sorry for pooping on your instability. Damn it, Todd. I know I've made some serious spelling fuck ups in the recent past, but <laughs> it does. Uh, but I, just I still can spell. One-handed, right, one-handed catch. A hell of a catch, my guess. She's no tree. And, and, oh, and she also did uh, the Sports I, Illustrated Swimsuit Edition. Yeah, I don't need to see that. I'm not gonna lie; that yeah. shouldn't turn me on, but it does. It. Uh, she's she is hot as fuck. No. No. 
Oh, are you no. looking at her picture? You, you I disagree? Send, send I'm Todd that picture. Google you're Google generated at. images. No. <laughs> no, not an AI picture. No, I'm looking at them all. Jesus. No. She she is a badass badass chick. Bah. Would not want to. Wouldn't want to cross her. She probably play the drop. Me out, play right? the drop. <laughs> play the drop. Yeah. What, what drop do I have? Oh, this is this is an appropriate drop. <laughs> That's me running in the opposite direction. <laughs> <laughs> or this is even better from Todd. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> that's what I thought you'd say. No. And I'm glad to hear we're on the same page. No. Or nah, bro. even their wieners. <laughs> yeah, even their, wiener, even their wieners are at attention. I think she's got a wiener. For a loan of mine. <laughs> that's, I was you waiting. She's, she got tri, you, tri, thank, tri, thank, tri, tri, triphasia? Thank you, Todd. I was waiting for that. Not that there's anything wrong with it. I just think she's not. No, I, she, <laughs> she, she, she's, built, she's a she's, lovely human being that uh, would not be on my... Uh, what do you call that? What's, what's the list you make with your significant other or like your uh, your top five? You call that? No, your no, bucket, when, bucket you, list. Your bucket? No, not bucket list. Uh, it's uh, your uh, your hall pass. Hall pass. Hall pass. <laughs> I'd let her rate. I was kind of wait. Did you hear while you were setting the camera? Did you hear uh, Todd didn't play hide and seek when he was a kid? He played hide and go get it. <laughs> I, I I did kind of hear. I I saw my so anytime my now we're coming up with something. Where Todd's like, what? What do you say? I'm like. Don't lead him. Just maybe there's gonna be some <laughs> kind of crazy <laughs> euphemism that Todd uses used for this thing. Oh no, you're thinking hall pass, but I'm thinking uh, <laughs> go, uh, hall go get him. Go, go get him. Uh, go get him pass. <laughs> hall get it. Hall get it. Get done. it done pass. <laughs> hall pass. All right, man. they're pulling some kind of crazy. Double flea flicker, whatever the fuck they're gonna do here. There we yeah. go. You know who's really good go. at football? What's that? You know who's really good at football? Uh, Joe oh, Montana. Hello to Mauer. Uh, Patrick Mahomes. You know who? what? I I'm not a Mahomes fan. I'm not a Chiefs fan in general. How could you not be? One of the greatest I, offensive minds in the history of the universe. And, and yeah, coupled with I know, I one know. of the greatest creators on the football field ever. And he's, got, and he's humble. Well, he's successful. No. He's Cor- correct me if, I, yeah, correct I don't know me about if I'm wrong. He's, he's out right now. Is he hurt? Yeah. yeah he, Mahomes he, isn't he, hurt. Uh, last I saw, he was on. Maybe on you're thinking air. Brittany Mahomes. I think he was going to say. Or Charlie. Degenerate really brother. Is. Yeah. Patrick Patrick Mahomes is fine. Oh, he's fine, it, Corey. Know, it, it, I, I was, it, okay, it was Taylor Swift that I was thinking about. <laughs> Taylor uh, Swift's out? She's on, hurt? On the Chiefs, yeah, the Chiefs lineup. Because she's getting pounded Damn by it. Swift Patrick is out. Else. Out of the lineup. She good at music. She, she sings she, straight. She <laughs> sings She sings straight? <laughs> and so I don't even I, I used to I, I think over the last couple of weeks I've been like I don't feel right about saying that but now I don't I, I'm I'm okay with it <laughs> hey, Dan- Danielle's going to see her in like two weeks so is she really? yeah I, don't blame her. Her. I didn't know that she was coming back around Taylor Swift? Well, has she been on tour for the last Swift. year? She's yeah. been on tour for the last 13 years. Yeah. Exactly. You, she's a, dude, generally, tours end. There. Tours end, then hey, they make another album, they hey, go back out to it. Hang on. Ta- what do you have to say, Todd? She's printing money. She ain't going to stop touring. Exactly. Exactly. She's giving away money for Hurricane Milton and all that kind of shit. She's got more money than she knows what to do with. She doesn't need any more money. She, that's what I'm saying. She's printing it and doing good things with it. You got to love that. Don't hate. Yeah. Appreciate, bro. No, and yeah, so Danielle and a bunch of her friends are going to, uh, actually to Indiana. I was going to say, did, they came to Detroit. She came to Detroit already for the Eras tour. Dude, I got another I grievance. No. no. She never came to Detroit? Never came to Detroit. Got wow. another grievance. Okay. Oh, go ahead. We're still, hold on. <laughs> are we doing this again? <laughs> there we go. That's enough. 
Okay. So, <laughs> Grievance, go ahead. Dude, Simply Safe has stolen. They got a freaking talking Rottweiler on their commercial. I'm the one who coined that. I had my Rottweiler singing, She's your queen. What is he saying? Does he know we're recording a podcast right now? <laughs> Dude, I invented singing and talking Rottweilers. They got simply say, rip me off again. You should trademark it, buddy. You know, they can make it up to you if they sponsor the show. Sons bitches. Yeah. There we go. If, they, if Simply Safe, Simply Safe, if you're listening... Sponsor us, and Todd will drop his, his grievance, and we'll sweep it under the proverbial rug. Yeah, he'll drop his grievance and also sing for you. Yes. Yes. I love how Goff, yeah, he felt a little bit on the shoulder. He didn't even flinch. He's like, no, 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 I got an opening here. They, they really need to pull out, like, a trick play at this point. Which I feel like they've, they've, they've got a bunch in their bag they've, they've worked on. Check your text, brother. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, you sent me your, tick, your ticky tack? Ticky tack video? Play that, play that so you can hear it. I, I, I just got it. Oh, Todd, come on now. Come on now. You did not do this. I did do that. How long ago did you do that? How can I tell when you posted this A gazillion years ago. And Simply Safe ripped me off. That's what I'm saying. Well, I, I guess I'm siding with Corey then. You got to oh, trademark that shit. <laughs> yeah. You can't blame the good folks and simply say for seeing good idea and then running with it, seeing it upon I know. the fact that I you know. didn't trademark it. I know. Like an idiot. I should have trademarked hide and go get it, too. <laughs> it's not too well, late. I, yeah, it's not too late. I, I, there we go. You All know right. why it's not too late? Because oh. no one's listening to this. <laughs> Woo! Look at how excited the old paints are. Touchdown, Detroit. A lot of awkward old man handshakes <laughs> and uh, old lady dancing going on. Love it. Khalif Raymond with the reception. 27, sorry, 28. 8, 28 17. Lions. 542 left to go to third. Thank you for being there with us. Thank you for, for listening and joining in. And if you're in the future, we thank you in advance. Yes, we do. That's an answer, baby. In the year 3000. It's his own fault for letting me walk away with the mixer with his, own, with his voice recorded. <laughs> and also not for, for not signing anything that said I couldn't play his voice. There you go. He, again, going yeah. back to that copyright and trademarking. Yeah. Hide and go get it. I told Todd when he said that, I'm like, that's absolutely in the running. Fair enough. Because Fair I will enough. say, like when we do a when we do a live uh, stream from Rays, sometimes it's tough to find. You know, it's football oriented, and sometimes we're. But today we have an embarrassment of riches for. It. Embarrass me. Yeah. Embarrassing. It's embarrassing. It is. It's so embarrassing how many different titles competitors we could, we could use. Yeah. Makes my job much, much easier. Oh, you're welcome, buddy. You're welcome. <laughs> I think I did say, say thanks in general to the podcast. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. How much did you have to drink last night? Was it, did you have a rough morning this morning or no? A couple uh, glasses it, of wine, Bob. He did not have any wine. I did. Oh, you did? I did a couple glasses of wine. 
That's what I just said. Last night? I, I, had, a really I, nice, I had a really nice uh, machete. But you were up and, and ready to go by 9.30 in the morning, so I'm not asking you. I know you were fine. I only had two two actual drinks. <laughs> like like high noons? Or uh, Bud Light the, Seltzers? No, the, yeah, the Bud Light Seltzers. Okay. Um, only had two of them. It was the shots that, uh, that got me. Yeah. I brought a fifth of Pink Whitney and... Mix like, well, I've already got a half one in the upstairs fridge. I've got another one in the cooler downstairs. And he's like, oh, I also bought some Fireball. Oh, and then Greg also bought that collector's smoky edition of Fireball. And Which I'm we like, never had. We did. Oh, did we? Yes, we did. I didn't. You did. Mm. You absolutely did. 100% sure I did not. I, you, I watched you do it. We can argue about this another <laughs> time. Uh... Yeah, no, it, 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 Agree to disagree. It was the shots that got me. The shots, yeah. Greg uh, bought another. It actually, went bourbon this time instead of scotch like he normally does. Yes. I don't know that I remember what kind of. I think he bought his, uh, what do you call it? It's aged in ore. Is that the brand name? Sure. It's uh, a really sweet, like, uh, um, uh, it's a pr- approved for, like, air. Airlines and you, you take oh, it on the flight. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the Aged little, in or the 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 little bottle breakdown he has. Yes. Yeah. Like three ounce. Um, it's, a, it's like a, a really nice zippered pouch with um, four different three ounce. Yeah, and the, containers. Yeah, and there's a there's cups that go with it and all that. Like actual glasses. Yeah. He, yep. Rocks glasses that he carries with him, but. Uh, yeah, so Todd, Todd you, 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 oh, sorry. Well, yeah, Todd, so our buddy Greg, uh, he's, a, he's a very... Greg, no, Greg, Gumtow, yeah. I know. Okay. Hey, so Inner type. <laughs> he's very big on, on scotch and, and bourbon. Yeah, he, he's got, he's got, a, he's got a, a refined palate like myself. <laughs> yeah. Well, all yep. right, then, then I guess I don't need to have to say much more. <laughs> Hey Greg, we're we're, we're 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 brothers from another mother. Yeah. Oh, dude, he 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 loves the shit, and uh, he likes bowling and golf. He's just like me. He's a taller, I wanna, hairier version of me. I want to say the last time that you and, were and white in Michigan, um, <laughs> I think when when Todd shows up, and then Greg's also there. You just kind of look at Greg, and you can see him like kid in a candy store. Like, oh, here's a guy who gets me. <laughs> and he'll like abandon conversations with you and me and make to go talk to Todd because he knows. Yeah. Oh, he, Todd's got a refined palate as well. He, he he always always brings good good shit. Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait to come back too because you know what I got. You know what, I don't. I, I mean I don't know if I'll be able to bring it back. I mean I guess I could, but when I come back, What's I know that? he'll be excited. No, I I was able to procure. A bottle of Eagle Very Rare uh, bourbon whiskey, which is very tough to get. Tougher than Blanton's these days. I have an embarrassment of Blanton riches, but Eagle Very Rare. And, by the way, I had oh. some on the rocks the other day. A May Balls. Really? Oh, yeah. So, wh- what are we talking for a bottle of that? 300? Uh... I don't think it's three hundred. I think it's, it's more a challenge of getting it. I think it's probably. It's, it's, I don't think it's more than a couple hundred bucks. But I th- it's a. Cha- it's more of a, It's it's harder just to get. It's not like a, a pappy thing where you 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 can find it and you're going to spend a crazy amount of money on it. It's just about getting it. There's there's probably right. only a couple of cases that they release every year. And I actually, again, a bit of an embarrassment of riches. I actually have a one point seven five. You have a what? So it, a one point a giant bottle. Oh, you okay? So even they make even fewer of those, I assume. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So how did you get a hold of this? Who do you, you got to know? Somebody special in the? I do. I know the. I, I keep. I keep a close relationship with the wine steward at, at one of the local stores. Yeah. And uh, anything, she, anytime she gets anything interesting, I, I actually have. Uh, I, I can't remember which, which which one it is, so I won't I won't embarrass myself, but I'll bring it up next time. But I actually have. I have a single, you know, the the, sink, the minis, the, the miniatures. I have a, uh, I think it's a Suntory 
growing miniature that is I, I, out, I, you know, I don't remember which, which one it is but it's a $300 for that one shot for a single shot for a single shot so uh, excuse me um, I have to <laughs> <laughs> alright so the the single most expensive shot I've ever had was Louis the 13th there you go and it was uh, $150 a shot. But I, I did not buy it. I, I will definitely say that. It Somebody was, bought it for you? No, it was the bartender. As a matter of fact, a Detroit Lion came into the place we were at. Okay. And he bought an entire round of Louis the Thirteenth for the entire table. Oh, my God. How many people at the table? Apparently, there was... From what I remember, there was 13, and the bartender poured 14 shots. Jesus Christ. Well, I don't know if you remember, Bob. Back in my uh, Detroit days, I worked for a company called Bacardi, and I actually tr- was able to trade a number of cases for a bottle of that. Of Louis? But, but the, yeah, but then the ignorant me then traded that for a bunch of other shit that I should have. Just keeping the bottle would have been the, the way to go. You, you, you <laughs> definitely should have kept that bottle, Louie. I think, you know, it's one of those things where, like, it happens to you. You're like, yeah, I'll, this will come around. This this opportunity will like, present itself again. Nope. And it did not. <laughs> it did not. Well, like, and, and, and so that, that, with, that that's why I took the shot because the bartender was like, hey, I, I, I over poured one shot. Uh, the guy was not willing to pay for it. And he had it in, in the cooler. Because the bottle of Louie was actually locked up on a top shelf. So like, the owner had to come around and unlock it in order to pour a shot. Well, well that's very, very good. I, I'm going to gonna find it here. There it is. A bottle that's much more available. That's even be- The bottle of whiskey that's even better than that. Expensive, but still much better. Well, so so he, he came around. He's like, and well, when, when, once we got in there at, at night, he's like, "Do you want this?" And I was like, "Oh, well, I, what is it?" He's like, "No, it's we, we, you know." I'm like, "What?" He's like, "Yeah, he's a guy over poured. Uh, he's a guy. I just want to get it out of my sight. He's a guy. I have to pay for it." I'm like, "What is like? Wow. This is what per? Sh-? He's like 150 dollars a shot." Yeah, and I was of course like, I'll take it. I'm like, yeah, I will definitely take it. I don't care if it looks and tastes like battery acid. Yeah, I, I mean, it was good, but not anything I'd pay a hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, by any means. So, Todd, between uh, between that that trade that you made and the uh, issues. With Bob Probert, I feel like like your t- t- term at Pic- uh, Picardy was nothing more than a parade of bad decisions. Don't talk about when <laughs> Todd killed Bob Probert. <laughs> I'm actually I'm actually on my on my mission in January. Oh, oh, there we go. Yeah. All right, yeah. Pascal. There is a bottle, there is a, the best whiskey that I've ever had, bar none, and better than even the, the Louis XIII, that's no, not technically a whiskey. Old Fitzgerald, 19-year bottled and bond. Best, best booze I've How ever is had. A, uh, you mentioned Centauri, uh, that's, that's a whiskey that I've often seen there and wondered, like, should I? Japanese brand, yeah, yeah. Yeah, should I try it or, like, would you recommend it? They have great products. I have several of them. Uh, okay. They're not doing single malts anymore because ultimately the time and expense, or I shouldn't say they're not doing it. They're releasing them very, very infrequently, so it's very, very hard. I have a couple of blends from the last time I was uh, overseas, but uh, right. they're great. Yes. You, you won't be un- dissatisfied with anything you get there. Uh, hard to get a hold of anything that's collectible or get anything that's like super rare, except for this shot that I have. <laughs> But so if I bought a bottle of Centauri like just off the shelf at the party store, yep, I'm I'm gonna I, I don't need to go look for like a ten year old or, or older. No, nope, you don't have anything that they make will be good. Okay, yeah, I'll have to give them a try. I've always 
wondered if it was worth it. Yeah, bottled and bond. So, you, so the the old Fitzgerald bottled and bond. I'm looking at right now. Looked up. Cheapest price you can get it for about nine hundred bucks up to fifteen hundred bucks. <sighs> oh, that's, that's it? it. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's the best. Bob. It's the best. <laughs> Here's this sad thing. Actually, similarly, I actually have a new uh, a te- tequila that I love. Uh, hard to hard to get. Fairly well, expensive, naturally, but uh, amazingly tasty. But Old Fitzgerald, that to, to date, best whiskey slash brandy slash cognac thing I've ever had. The 19 year old bottle in bond. Okay. If you ever see it anywhere and you can get a shot and you get somebody, and even better, if you can get somebody to buy you a shot of it. I got to get Nick be, to send me a, a, a picture of the, the brand of that white port that we tried yesterday. It was really, really good. I have not tried, but Danielle, I, I will take your word for it. Yeah. Danielle did. Um, I don't know. Yeah. I got to figure out what it was. Oh, I know oh, what I see what you're up. saying about. It. They think these tours. They think the Sean Watson tour is Achilles. Oh no! That's going to be bad news for That's... massage therapists in Cleveland. <laughs> My goodness! <laughs> but <laughs> a lot of wiener sightings is going to come up over the next eight to ten months. But doesn't that mean that uh, Cleveland's edge rusher might seriously consider moving to Detroit? No, because not for nothing. Deshaun Watson's not very good. And you know, really? you, know what makes a really, you know what makes a not very good quarterback even worse? A shitty offensive line. Oh. And so, and so at the end of the day, if they get somebody, anybody new in there with fresh legs, I think Cleveland's actually hanging in, hanging in against Cincinnati because it doesn't matter who's at the, at the quarterback spot. I was just kind of figuring that, you know, it, it's one more, if Deshaun Watson actually did tear his Achilles, it's one more um, reason to go like, well, what am I really doing here? Yeah, I think Miles Garrett. I don't. I'd be surprised to see Miles Garrett. Because uh, and here's the other thing: you can't. Aff- if Hutch will likely be back next year, you can't yeah. afford them both. And is this the? Um, and are you? And what are you going to give yeah. up to get them? Well, that's yeah. That's that's the you're challenge. Trade in the future for you're going to trade in the future for the now. I mean, if, if this is. They, I don't think that the Lions know if this is. Super Bowl. Oh my goodness! The Seahawks done swallowed up Kirk Cousins here. I'm sorry. Oh and really? Just, oh, swallowed him and returned it for a touchdown, baby. They swallowed him, crapped him out, and scored a touchdown. Amaze balls. You know what I wanted to? I I almost for, I forgot. I'm like, oh yeah, we have this thing. Did I know I did? And I'm pretty sure Todd did. Did you, Corey, ever go hungry shopping and take a picture? <laughs> so, so I, I, I do have a picture. You do. <laughs> I, so I, do have we all done this? Could we actually like today? Oh, I mean, right now. It, yeah. no, no, there's no way right now. Why not? Because I don't have my Daniel's laptop there. with me. It's oh, it's only on your laptop. What? Well, I, I would have to port all the pictures. Out. I, I don't have them saved on my iPad. That's what we're. But like, if I texted you my picture, you couldn't. No. Save it to your iPad through no. the messages? Okay. All right, well, let, let's plan on doing that. Um, can we, can we can do it with the, uh, with the band? Over? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'd have to. Because that's a great story. I mean, okay, yeah. I want to I hear what rock stars do when they hungry shop. Okay, well, I'll send them something and see if that's something that they're interested in. Because <laughs> they're already doing... Um, yeah, they, they, they took your advice, Todd, or your input, and they, they said, let's can we let's do Halloween movies I love instead. It. I love it. Tell me though, though, Todd, how did you start that conversation? Were you just talking about like, oh, let's let's talk about mo- love of movies, or like we weren't actually gonna do our gentleman's agreement. No, well, we, we, we brought up the type of segments that we do. And remember, they commented on the fact that they liked that segment. Yeah. And, I, and then I suggested, hey, well, why don't we just do it? And then you two, Lily, Lily Padge, are like, you guys are, <laughs> yes, we, we don't want to give you any homework. We love you so much. Even though you're, I can't understand. Oh, even though, oh I almost got in trouble, Bob. Yeah. We, we, you guys freaking lathered it on so thick. I'm, if anyone can't tell, I'm the risk taker of this group. <laughs> 
and uh, I was assigning homework. Yeah. Uh, You've and, insulted uh, anyway, uh, other podcasts, turns, uh, turns uh, bands. <laughs> we haven't even interviewed potential guests on the podcast. But, the hey, owner of the bar that hey, we're podcasting from. But love them all. Love them all. Yeah. Hey, you know what? You know what's, you know what's on my playlist, Bob? And you, it's hard to make it on my playlist. But Year of October has three songs on my badass songs playlist. Just okay. They have which three. ones? They have three. Are you going to tell them uh, next Sunday which ones those I'll tell are? Them next, next Sunday, I'm going to talk about kind of how they made the list and why what what why I thought that they should make it on the list. But again, you know, I'm a very very I love music. Yeah, love music, and I'm very very opinionated about it. And so the fact that they've made it onto my playlist, I think that bodes well for both parties. They are so lucky to have you as an interviewer. I am lucky to have them as an interviewee. How about that, Bob? Uh, that's I go get it. Yeah, you. <laughs> that was hide like. and go get it. <laughs> All right, twenty-eight twenty now. Detroit leads. Fourth quarter. I to me, if we can, if we can give the Vikings their only loss of the season thus far, I think we've we've done a great job. That'd be amazing. You should be the starting quarterback, Bob, for these Minnesota Vikings, but due to an unfortunate injury, it's not. <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, my goodness. Well, let me ask you this question a different way. Do you know what school the start the, the USC Trojans? USC Trojans. Oh, my God. We already did this. Dude. Michigan Wolverines. It, there you go. Thank you. J.J. McCarthy was their first-round draft pick oh. last year from the New York Michigan. That dude, hold game. on. That dude is not ready to take a starting QB job in the NFL. Dude. In, in my was, estimation. Your estimation? You didn't even know he went to school or who no, he was. No, I, I did. I, I fucking cool. forgot what team he was playing for because I haven't seen him on the field. Because he blew his knee out in training camp, brother. Yeah. But, but, he, was, but he, was, he was winning the job. He won the job. Oh, I don't he think He was going to so. be the guy. Yeah. You think so? I already know so. I'm in the know about these things, Bob. JJ had won the job. He had so your Sam question Darnold. to me was purely rhetorical then. It was, and then you screwed it up anyway. Uh, it's my own fault for Coast answering. doing a triple throwback pass to a dude I never heard of, but it didn't fumble. <laughs> That's good. If you want to watch really bad football, watch the Indianapolis Colts play the Miami Dolphins. My goodness. I want people to watch this podcast for Todd's stunning football acumen <laughs> in the face of our collective stupidity. Yeah. Oh, there we go. St. <laughs> Brown. Oh, Brown. 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 Why don't you guys get one of those slappies on the mic to freaking answer a trivia question? No, these slappies, these slappies. I, I'm not feeling the, the doofus on the mic segment today. And I don't think Corey is either. I feel there, like there, there, there's it a lot of like old this, paint. This, it feels like this 10 a.m. experiment for Todd Dillon being drinking, doing shots, and freaking going to chase people around the house. Yeah. Uh, experiment is probably then a, uh, a lost leader. Then. Well, I got I to gotta <laughs> say, yeah, I was promised a packed bar at 1 p.m. And it's, 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 it's busy. It's, it's vibrant. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm looking, I'm like, there's one, two, three tables open. That's not It's packed. vibrant, but it's not... Uh, it's it's pregnant, but it's not delivering. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Now, maybe it's because it's an amazing day outside and the weather is unbelievable. It's nice and warm. And, here in Michigan, yes. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe that's why yep. people are, like, frolicking. The, the day's starting really beautiful here, too, in Seattle. Yeah. Sunny, sunny, and, and, and we, sex we're, with their wives we're in the cool. backyard. Wives. That's what I should be doing. That's I, yeah. I'm here podcasting with you guys, and that's the podcast, everybody. <laughs> I gotta go. Yeah. Carol, 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 Carol. Can we get yeah. Uh, two more jack fires. Chill, please. I'll pour, I'll pour a shot. 
See, now I'm on. Now I'm in, in phase. What's that, Todd? <laughs> I'm in phase. I'm pouring my shot now. Oh yeah, you, yep. You're you're picking up what we're throwing down. St. Brown. Uh, yeah. Far short of the third and 18. Fuck. Whoa. Oh, yeah, Bob. Yeah. Another update. I just finished season three of The Wire. Did you really? I did. Uh, you're going to be really upset time. with me. Because after watching many, many movies that I was trying to catch up on, I got fucking. So I watched. I watched a whole bunch of movies, and two of I them that I, movies. Two of them that I watched was, was Cruise in Reacher and the Reacher sequel, and I thought the same thing that the world did. That why is a five foot seven actor playing Jack Reacher? Who's supposed to be six five? 250. I know. Prime figured it out by hiring a freaking muscle man because it is amazing. Yeah. Like, it's well, hard to suspend this belief. He, he's a badass not, mofo, isn't he? He was an actor. He was actually an actor, but that's that's where you're going to be mad at me because having watched Cruz and Reacher, which, you know, he was good, good, and I never read the book, so it's not like I was super disappointed, but I'm like, I got fucking sucked into that first season of Reacher, dude. Yeah. I'm so yep. sorry because I really, I, I, before I started any other TV show, I should have gone back to season two of The Wire, but I did not. Yep. And now I'm going to be at least finishing, you know, the eight episodes in season one of Reacher before I yeah, get. Yeah, and to that's the wire. a and that's not a bad trade off. You'll like that. I, I will tell you that you'll it be is good. Slightly disappointed in season two. Oh, season two of Reacher. Yeah. I mean. I'm still going to get, I mean, if season one is as good as the first four episodes have been, I'm going to finish it. Yeah, yeah, they, you're going to like that. Dude, you're going to be happy with that. Yeah. You then know they're doing season three. They're going to be disappointed. But here's, the, here's the difference. What's the Wire. <laughs> I'm, I can't wait to start season four, and I've already seen it. <laughs> I got to get back to The Wire. Season one was amazing. It, it's, it held up really, really well. It gets better. I feel better. That's, that's what I'm saying. Let, that's let my, my take. I let you down. My take is it gets better. I honestly, at the end of season one, I could not. I'm like, how are they going to do a season two? It gets better. And here's the thing. I'll put it this way, Bob. Last night I finished up season three. Yeah. And that was the thing that got me in bed at two a.m. to be up in time for this motherfucker. <laughs> so you got to go seven hours of sleep. What's well, wrong with that? Well, I was up before that, but uh, anyway. Brothers got to do take care of the yeah, play a little hide the salami, a little hide and go. No, no, no. I gotta get right, get right with, get right with the world, get right with the Lord, man. You know what I do? You know what I gotta do? Yes. <laughs> that uh, televise, tele, televangelist. Thing. Exactly. Got to get it right. Got to get all the other stuff right. Man, my grandma, my my dad's mom used to every Sunday, but she was a, she was a, you know a. She's a fairly sizable woman. Who <laughs> was her name? Fanny. <laughs> it was not. Have you ever noticed that big girls? There's a lot of Fanny and Bertha like dooms you to being a big girl. Like I've never seen a skinny Fanny, Bertha, Gertrude. But yeah, those are names, old like, school names. But they're but they're but they're all big bone. That's a, like a, like if you get if you got a baby with great bone density, you're like mm -hmm, Fanny. great bone density. Like they're tracking the great the bone density <laughs> in the hospital. Like, congratulations! And by the way, I'm not sure if you knew this, you can hold them. I mean, and literally go like, Jesus, feel the bones on this kid. And, and now your name is Bertha. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Scratch off. Scratch off. Whatever name Riley. <laughs> yeah. Whatever name you decided. Madison. Uh, it's done. God. The it's hospital. not going to be Tiffany. How, <laughs> many, how, many, how many big bone Tiffanys do you? Have? <laughs> Oh, buddy, I knew one that was three bills. No, built is not big boned. I said bills. Three oh, bills. Oh, bills. Gotcha. Yeah. That's, That's a, just being ironic. Yeah. That, yeah I can't believe was, you gave her, was, I can't believe you told everybody her last name. That's crazy. That was, that was a crazy Tiffany. Because I, I do agree with Todd. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Tiffany is uh, usually pretty good, but. 
No, this Tiffany was. Well, Tiffany's a pretty all right. Because uh, can you imagine a, a flat ass skinny white girl named Fanny? <laughs> uh, <laughs> like that would be like you'd be like, hey, hey these hey, days, hey, yes, hey, I can totally see it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> she has a flat ass. Exactly, and her name is and, Fanny. Well, then why would anyone ever even want to go near her? I know that sounds I'm just shallow. Saying, I'm just saying that parents don't mess up. Typically, mess up that bad. Like, I've not seen a fanny without a big fanny. First of all, when was the last time you ever came across anyone named Fanny? Wow! Every time I went into a diner, ever. <laughs> <laughs> Her actual name was Fanny. Well, I don't, I don't break it down. Like, is, is your name Faniel or Fanalia? <laughs> yeah, what is Fanny short for? Fanny. <laughs> no. Like Fenelope? No. Or, <laughs> it's, it's, Fa- it's, Faniel. <laughs> Fanny is short for Fanny. <laughs> there, that's, that's the only way to call that one. Sorry. <laughs> I, 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 I would. I, oh, that's that's an interesting. <laughs> to how many people out there are still named Fanny in today's day and uh, age? Listen, we were just talking about this uh, a couple of days ago. The is lady Frank Clark. Lori is a. She's a. She's a public school teacher. And she has, did you ever watch Abbott Elementary? Bob? She has watched Abbott Elementary. And she, does she like it? She did like it. I don't think she liked it as much as you expected that she would like it. That bugs me. I know. I, we've had this conversation before. I'm sorry. Uh, I will continue to apologize on her behalf. But uh, just talking about some of the names of her students, who, I'm not going to say any of them. Uh, well, probably a good idea. But, uh, Jaquan. I, I, didn't, I didn't say any of those names. <laughs> you can say, <laughs> Todd. I, I should have given all the names to Todd beforehand and said, as long as you say them, it's fine. But I won't. Penis licking Richard. <laughs> but there were there are a few. The the I, I was surprised to to see the breakdown of names that seem to have been uh, made up out of whole cloth. Versus those names. Oh no, he didn't. Oh, never mind. It didn't do anything. Why are they showing me Justin Jefferson almost freaking schooling you, dude? I don't know. Todd, you got you got a your twisted tee shot. I know, punk bitch. You ready? I'm ready, dude. Born. Here we go. All right. Cheers, everybody. Here you go, buddy. Salute. Whoa. Jesus. I like it much better when it's chilled. Uh, yeah. That was not that chilled. Was not chilled at all. Damn it, Carol. Apparently, we have to tell. That lemon tart. Oh. Woo. Kicks, you the, kicks you in the taint when you. When oh, you, you had him. You had him. There you go. <laughs> anyway, some of, the na- some of the names seem to be like, was that? I just. To, and I, and I realized that it's a personal thing for me where, like, I, the na- my kids' names, like, I told them, like, oh, here's how I got that name. Like, there's a story. It, I didn't just be like, I, I thought it sounded cool. There was actually a story. Like, it's because oh, no. I heard this song or whatever. Dude. Yeah. DK Metcalf just got carted off the field here in uh, Seattle. Really? Well, well, Atlanta, yeah. I don't know what's going on, but I'm not very happy about it. All right, well, now it is 28-23 Lions with five minutes left. Six Seahawks minutes left in the, in the fourth. Seahawks are kicking the taint off the freaking Falcons. That's awesome. But for the Lions now, I'm concerned because now it's a five-point game and there's a lot of football left to play. And if we don't, get a, if we don't score this next drive, it's going to be rough. We, we definitely need going to be rough. Definitely need you. Hey, so, Corey, did you ever play, you played football for a little bit, didn't you? I mean, I didn't have the extensive uh, career uh, into college like you and Bob did, but yes, I did. So, okay, so wor- worst football injury? 
Uh, football. Bro- broken toe. Yeah. Those are bad. People underestimate the power of the toe. It, 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 <laughs> the power of the toe. It, it was bad, it, but but so I, I, if you don't mind, Todd, I, I'm going to divert a little bit because uh, ho- when I, hockey was my thing, I, I love playing it. I'll, always did. Um, I shattered my forearm playing hockey. Yeah. That's right. that's that's my worst sport. The injury. worst sport injury. Okay, okay, yeah. like that. Right. Yeah. That's a bad one, Bob. Um, honestly, the worst one I ever had. This I don't. You can't really count jammed fingers. No, no. Nope. I, I had so many jammed fingers. I felt like every week I was playing with a jammed finger. Well, as you should be, <laughs> if you were good at what you did. I have a I have a scar that that runs like this because I got spiked. Um, I was playing defense, went for a tackle, and then as I was as I went down, you know, grabbing him from behind, cut that out, internet, grabbed him from behind. Uh, somebody else stepped <laughs> that, at me, was that, their, was his name and, and, and cut me open was, like that. Hold on, and it Can I never went to the hospital to play without the freaking commercial. <laughs> that's, that's my first, that's my worst worst injury, really, because it left a scar. Gotcha. I never, I never broke any bones. You never? Uh, no, that uh, see, the only bones I've ever broken were I broke my big toe on my right foot, right before I was about to start my first job. So I had to start my first job in a cast up to my knee, which is crazy. Like it's just a toes are toe. mean. They are mean. And then I they, broke my, I broke my, you walk. I broke my collarbone when I was like. Less than a year old, I fell out of my crib onto the solid wood train. So, so, so not so so not sports. For when you were no, less no, than a year old, no. yeah, it should have been all cartilage, dude. What kind of freaking freak boy are you? Oh, this was a solid wood train. It was a heavy. It doesn't buck. matter. Your your collarbone should have been all flexible and shit. I you think I have, have that train actually. Calcium. Give it to me from my mother up in my attic. But the same one that. It, it, it accrual just to fade if someone were to break into my house and want to kill me, you should just go up in the attic and grab the train and beat me to death with it. Because then people be like, oh, yeah, that's the train. It, yeah, that makes sense. All right, Todd. So, Todd, what's your, your injury? It's a, it's, a, it's a tie. So once I actually had a torn, I tore my... Uh, no, it's not about a tie. The worst. You got to pick one. That, well... When my, I the question push, wasn't that. like which two injuries well, that were equally the, bad they're, were, they're, were the worst. I think, they're, I think they're I think they're equal, but the, I, then I guess if I have to pick one, remember I, and I, had a, I had a twisted tester. Oh, this isn't the lift and cuts story. No, 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 no. I got no. That's not I, a sport. Yeah, because it's not a sports related injury. That's, well, we don't know what he was doing. We don't know what he was doing while that was. No, 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 it's on, not on, shaving on his a, balls. This on, is what your definition so, of sports is. So, so during 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 my my college career, I actually had a situation where I had a uh, a, a cup that got broken. I got hit helmet right to the cup. Yeah, and it and it bro- and it broke my cup. And uh, when I took the I took the cup out, and then I got tackled again, and a guy kind of shot punched through my. Uh, Punched through my leg trying to make the tackle and twisted my testicle. <laughs> what do they call and that? that uh, tor- torsioned? Testicle. And, uh, there's, a, there's a word for it. I, twisted is not it, but no, I can't yeah, remember yeah. what the. Tor- torsioned is, is. Is that it? Uh, yeah. pa- pa- painful is what I call it. <laughs> Woo! And it actually. I missed, I missed three, three weeks with, with that. And I, I was going to say, oh, the, the other injury that also hurt is I tore, I tore a quad and it, it bled out. I bled into my own, into my own I had internal bleeding and I couldn't bend my leg and that was really, really bad. I had to go to the emergency. That was, my, yeah, I didn't know that about you. Wait, you couldn't bend your leg because your nut was bursted? No, 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 no. <laughs> my, uh, my, my, my ball didn't get bursted. Right. But a twisted testicle. <laughs> Torsion. That's the, only, that's the only injury that I've ever had. A hand, I got a handicap uh, uh, pass to par- for parking. <laughs> <laughs> just because of your torsion testicle? 
Sir, you can't park here. Look at my nuts. Because I couldn't walk. I couldn't walk. I had an Alpha Tyson nuts. I had a big old freaking <laughs> softball. Todd, from what you you've told us on previous podcasts, you always have elephantitis of the nuts. I got nice nuts, Corey, but <laughs> you don't have a you don't have a grapefruit softball size nut. That's not good for anybody. Just so you know, nice nuts is also in the running for episode ten. <laughs> <laughs> it, not. Not. Honestly, guys, as Borat as would say, they're very nice. Okay. If we had a substantial audience, I would love to leave it up to the audience to pick the title. Like I, every week, I would have a poll, and I'm like, "Here's the top four choice." Here's the poll, and if they actually nuts. chose "Nice Nuts" over uh, "Knuckle Buster." The, I th- how awesome would that be? I'm not going to lie. MB, I, I think they'd pick Envy Jar. No, I, but, but that, that's the cool part is we don't know what they would pick. And if they did pick Envy Jar, you should absolutely, Todd, lord it over us for the whole rest of the week. But I, I, I'm, I, I'm telling you, there's an algorithm, and yeah. Nice Nuts would probably be... America's Ass is still one of our... It, it is the work. number one all-time most downloaded episode that we've had. Well, no. It's no, not. it's... Yeah, uh, on on Podbean. Oh, okay. On YouTube yeah. is definitely not. Yeah, but, but, but the audio version, yes. But it, it's 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 still it's still trending on YouTube. Yeah. So, yeah, nice nuts might might be the thing that <laughs> takes us in the atmosphere. So what what you're really saying is we start need to start thinking harder about harder about how many different <laughs> your nuts don't get hard. <laughs> Uh, what, they're hard, they're your hard torsion hard. nuts <laughs> might actually get hard. No, that's still not. Why we ask Todd? And not, not for nothing. I just watched it's, the kicker, a dude who gets paid in the NFL for the Dolphins. The who? Dolphins. The Dolphins. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. He Some people shanked. spell him with a ph, yeah. but not he Todd. Just, he just donged a freaking uh, <laughs> field goal that would have tied the I game. I think the word you're looking for is schlonged. Envy schlong, a, uh, a kick. Because you know what? Kickers suck butts. Kickers suck. Kickers suck butts. butts. Nice nuts. All right, Todd. I'm just going to come out and ask. You, you, you've, gone, you've gone on and on about kickers for some years now. Yes. And they, they, what, should, they should do away with them. Did what, your mom what, cheat on your dad with a kicker? Yeah. What, did, what, were you beaten up what, by a kicker as a child? What, what, why the What animosity? kicker did you run? Yeah. Every one of them. <laughs> they no, do but one it, thing. But, but they do, what, Corey, in, here's the thing. They do one thing. They don't, run, they don't run sprints. They show up to camp not on a shape. They have square toed shoes back in the old days. And even when they don't, they, do, they, they, they speak with a freaking odd accent that you can't understand it. They kick from the side I, of their I, foot. I, 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 what are you <laughs> talking about? Like, for, like a Pittsburgh all, accent? I don't think all of them do. Yes. 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 Every yes. single one of them speaks with an accent oh. I don't understand. And Are we talking about like a Pittsburgh accent or more like a like a Boston? Pittsburgh, Boston. Like, oh, I'm a kicker. Yeah, I'm a kicker. And I, I kick straight. And let's be mad. I smoke kick on the sideline. They do one fucking thing. They can't, they can't kick. They I want to say the. Side kicks. They can't kick field goals. They mix extra points. Every time. You know what? And it's funny. They freaking lull you in. They kick a 58 yarder, and you're like. Oh, that he kicks all that cookers. He's a weapon. And then when you need it, you need a twenty-three yarder to win a game. What do they do? Oh, <laughs> last night Pepino, she pee on the carpet. I can't make kicks number. These kickers suck. Oh no! Ass. Pick it up. Don't like kickers. Wait, who None peed on the carpet? Pepino. Pepino. Oh, Chihuahua. Okay. All right. Chihuahua. Yeah. Okay. Were you paying attention, Corey? I, I, don't know. I was trying doing? to. I, <laughs> Todd, I think that uh, the the kickers that the kickers that played on your teams in high school and Not college all teams. M- must have made an impression on you, where you had to you had to rectify on one hand these people being called weapons with what you clearly saw with your own eyes uh, at the the amount of pizzas they ate the night before the game, dude. Where you were like working your ass dude, off. Hold, hold on a second. Yeah. Bob, you you play football. Corey, Holy shit, you skated on a hockey team. That was a hell of a punt, by the way. Oh, he's Corey's played a little bit of football. 
every other position on the field does a bunch of different stuff, right? And every now and again, there's a punter who has freaking larger than average biceps, and they're trying to get him to do some other shit. Yeah. But otherwise, Pat pitchers, McAfee. for the most part, do one fucking thing, right? Yeah. And they can do all manner of cool tricks. Right? Have you ever seen a kicker you walk in the locker room like, oh, He's fucking spinning a football on his toe, and he's fucking kicking it. He's like, get back. Well, on his spinning a football yeah. on his toe. I've, yeah, they, they, they like I've spin it like that. I've never seen they that. Got, that would actually be pretty manner, amazing. They got all manner of Eldrick Tiger Wood freaking tricks that they can do with the ball. But you know what they can't do? They can't. Yes, exactly. I see. I see. Not even the big toe. Game. The little toe. I'd be pretty yeah. impressed. Yeah. They fucking do all manner of shit with their fucking kicking prowess until you actually need them motherfuckers. To make a 23-yarder. You know what they do then? What? Pepino should be on the carpet. I can't make a kick. Freaking kickers. Pepino they freaking on rip the your carpet. heart out. Pepino is now no longer the name of the dog. It's the verb for what they're doing on the carpet. He pepinoed all over the carpet. <laughs> Todd, I... I what? I'm, what? I'm, I'm, I'm still really looking to... What? Why you have such a disdain. Because all they do is lose games for you. They do, they lose more. <coughs> Everybody's like, oh, and then so to ask the Buffalo Bills what they think about Scott Norwood. Okay, well, that that's a one-off. I, you realize, oh, he's a one-off, is he? He's a one-off, is he? Yes. You realize there's a lot of kickers Kick, that kickers will, they, they will, win, your- will win games. Beyond bah. No, no. You know who won the game? The defense who kept it within three points. That's who won the game. Not the freaking dude smoking heaters, doing fucking magic tricks in the locker room, making you laugh, fucking talking about his little fucking chihuahua at home. I, th- I, I legitimately, every week, I think hey. about Todd saying smoking heaters <laughs> for the kickers. Hey, hey hang on. If he's, doing, if he's also doing magic tricks in the locker room, I'd be like, well, you're a good dude. Daddy's <laughs> spitting on his good, little yeah, toe? You're a good dude. With, with the magic that's, tricks? That's why they fucking headbutt him, even when he misses. Because he'd be like, well, you're, that, at least you're still entertaining. Dude, dude, I'm with you, Corey. I think that would be amazing. He'd be my best friend. <laughs> I'd be like, well, I, I, I wouldn't know this kicker if he's If my doing dad magic was like, tricks. I want you to quit football, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, but now I can't play football with the but I won't get to the see the guy yeah. with the spinning on the toe and the magic tricks. Uh, and he's doing, yeah, he's it's doing like a circus every locker. time I go to a practice. Yeah, they're little wizards who rip your heart out. They'll think Gandalf, except for I, when I w- it counted. I want to see that think every Gandalf, day. Think Gandalf, except when it counted. No, you're, I want to see that every day. Your heart ripped out. All right, so Vikings have just punted the ball away. 2.37 left in the, in the game. Vikings are up 29-28. And yeah. all Detroit has to do... All they have to do is kick. Is walk down, eat up the clock, kick a fucking field goal, and take the W. And you guys are comfortable with that. That the dude who smokes heaters, doing magic tricks, <laughs> who doesn't take his underwear off in the locker room, that dude's yes. going to win the game for you. Yes. Okay. And I think right. any of these old paints would be comfortable with that as well. Ta- ta- They're Tommy. literally pacing in, in yeah, Uncle ta- Ray's bar tonight. Tommy is currently up pacing It's still Saturday around. night, by the way. They're pacing tonight. In the bar, trying to figure out like, what are we? How, how are we going to close this out? We cannot go. Oh, I have to put it on the back of freaking the dude who freaking smokes heaters and can't kick fucking. Oh. We we cannot go uh, three and out. That that is what we cannot do. What you cannot do is put this dude in the center of the field on a thirty-yard attempt and think this this is a game done deal. <laughs> yes, you, you can. Do. Uh, honestly, even though it's a Lions that I want right. to vote, I kind of want Todd to be Why in a we, position tonight exactly. where a kicker could decide our fate. Exactly. I want to sit the, down and watch the kick, Sweet, sweet karma. The kicker is definitely in this decide the fate no. tonight. No, it's not. No, he's not. Yeah, yes, the he offense is. is. Hold on. The offense <laughs> has to move the ball to a point where this freaking hat can take a freaking swipe at the freaking ball and then go, oh, the, the hole didn't hold it. The lace is now, the Todd. Way, or my Pepino shitted on the fucking carpet today. <laughs> Pepino. Why do we keep coming back? I don't know, but that's also in the running for the episode title. Pepino. <laughs> Todd, in all, honest, in all honesty, Todd. Yes. And I'm not just talking about how you think. Do you think that... 
on average amongst the NFL coaches, when they're in this position of down by a point, two and a half minutes left, you got the ball. You're on the fucking, I think they're on the 35-yard line? Um, are they're they? 34. They're on Detroit 34. 34. Yeah. It's very, very close. Yeah, you're Do you think that the average of NFL coaches are playing this to score? Or are they all playing this to get down with a field goal range? Uh, they're playing this to score a touchdown unless they smoke crack and like to gamble a lot. <laughs> no, I, I know how kickers, you feel. I'm asking you how the, the majority of NFL coaches are okay. approaching okay. the situation. Okay, okay. So I'd say here's the thing. This, I think the majority of them think, oh, I pay this guy a lot of money and all he does is kick. I don't make him do wind sprints. Never has to do push ups. Dude doesn't have to bench 25 two times. Dude put away a whole large pizza by himself last night. Dude's fucking eating KFC right before the fucking game. (laughs) Extra crispy and shit with extra oil in it. Yeah, they think that this dude, because that's all he needs to do is put foot to ball. But just like a fucking shitty dude with dude who gets the freaking yips when he's got a sandwich in his hand, that's what these dudes do. What kind of a word salad was that? Todd, I, I will tell you, I, from what I've, I've researched, the yeah. kickers are probably the most athletic people on the field. No, no, that, <laughs> no, no, no. That, and guess what, Corey? Right. They, they, guess what, they, Corey? No, no, Corey. hang on, hang on, Corey. hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. That cannot be fair. They, 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 they were a Vanity Fair article about Harrison Butker. Vanity Fair. Fair. speech at frickin' Illinois Wesleyan does not make you a research candidate. Did no. you say Va- Donut Wesleyan? Va- Vanity Fair <laughs> is not is not a reliable source. <laughs> <laughs> I, if it said if, if if any article says that kickers are the most athletic dudes on the field, no, do they they they, they, they are. No, I I've, no, I've seen not. Todd. They're not. No, buddy, Todd. No, no. listen, man, Corey. They, no, no, Corey, hang on, hang on. Corey, just, Corey, just, Corey. just hear me out. Hear me out. Corey, hear me out. No, hear me out. Yes. I'll hear you, you out at any point other than the fact. All right. That is a, a misnomer, untrue, unfounded, and not certain. <laughs> no, I, I'm just telling you. I, I'm just, I'm just telling hold you. Hold that, fellas. Oh, no, hold that, fellas. First and ten. Dave McGarmer got the first down, so we're first and ten at the. On the Minnesota 36. 40, 48. No, sorry, 45. You're in the Minnesota 36. 36. Yeah, you're going to be there. Why are they calling it a 48 yard? Uh, my, my, uh, they might, but my Jameer field goal gonna, math is Jameer's not going to hook you up in a sec, bro. Because so. the kicker can go back and, and no. hit that, no. that, yes! no. that mark. Holy shit, Todd, they might actually be listening to you. They better. And going for the, for the TD. They better. Like, fuck these guys. We're going to make them they score. They better because that, unlike that, what Corey Wouldn't that be said, a Dan Campbell move? The best. Athlete on the field is not fucking this skinny twig named number 30, 39. Oh, he's the best athlete in the building. That dude was just smoking heaters and eating fucking Popeye's chicken sandwich. Todd, I, it's, <laughs> if Todd, only we had time I, in the next minute 18 to hear your Popeye story one more time. <laughs> Todd, I'm, I'm telling you, buddy. No. They, they are the most athletic person no. on. <laughs> They're not. Ever, ever come They're out. Not. What, are you ba- what are you basing that on, Corey? Vanity Fair. Yes! Another first down. Minute 10 left. Clock is running. No! And there's the kicker warming up on the sidelines. At the wire, bitches. How funny is that? They're showing the kicker. Look at St. Brown. Clutch, clutch reception by St. Brown. Absolutely. You need all that. Todd, I'm not going to lie. I, I wish that you were here right now, and if the Lions continue to go, and even if, if the Seahawks as well continue to march through the season and First continue to rack up wins, uh, I want you to find a fucking way to make it back to Michigan just for a weekend. I'm on it. Here we go. Can you imagine how awesome it would be for the here we go. To be sitting I, here doing a podcast? The, that's what I got now. That would be yeah, awesome. Okay. 107 left. Yep. Jameer. That didn't go anywhere, though. At the 22-yard line. And here we go. 
There you go, second Just down. Just do not turn the ball over. Mm. Or let the kicker kick. That's fine. Second down. 102 left. Todd, the kicker is always... But you said the kicker? Sure. <laughs> the kicker is is always the hero. I don't care what no. you say. Okay. That's what, yeah, ask Buffalo to tell you about that. Yeah, sometimes they fuck up. Four Super Wait. Bowls in a row sometimes? But guess what? They're usually, Ouch. That... That hurt time. Those guys smoking heaters and <laughs> yeah, uh, so many heaters. Just just standing around the sidelines. Exactly. They, Slopping they, down fucking cats, fucking deli, corn beef sandwiches. Whatever you good, good, good for them. Corn beef. Good, good for Dude. I okay, hang on, Tom. Yeah, hang, there hang, you go. No, the no, lines are giving up. Oh, TV. we have a kicker. He's a weapon. <laughs> See what I mean? It's go. being called a weapon. That's really, I think, what rubs rubs Todd Dillon the wrong way. Look at dude's face. Look at dude's face. Does that look like a face? I thought you were watching this game. I am watching now, but bitch. Oh, now, now I just, I just paid Directv. <laughs> I just <laughs> four thousand. <000. laughs> just paid off my bill hope, for the month. You know what I hope, Bob? That the I kicker fucks Pepino, up, we lose. I hope Pepino didn't shit on the Ferragamo slippers Pepino. on the way to the game today. Listen, buddy. All I gotta, all I gotta tell you, just don't ruin this for us and the rest of the crowd in Uncle Ray's bar in D- Dearborn Heights, Michigan. Kickers yeah. suck. And if he kicks this field goal and wins this game, for I'm, you, he's I'm thinking lose about muting your microphone until the more. game is over. I'm, I'm okay. really thinking. I'm hard shut, about I'm, here it comes. It's coming you up. Should, you should. Because it looks like should. the Lions have resigned themselves. Oh, we got yeah. a weapon. Todd, sorry, you're we gone. We got a weapon. All right, you, you'll be back in the next uh, one minute. Sorry, Tom. You still there? <laughs> Fuck you and your horseshoes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny? No, 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 no. no I no. don't. There's, nope. there's, yep. there's nothing uh, funny about yep. this, Todd. Dude, I, got, I, got, I, I made this dude marry. You could have kept your mouth shut. Could have been me. good with it. <laughs> Todd, just so you know, I'm not, I'm not in control of muting anyone. That's fine. Dude, I'm, not gonna totally say, like I'm not going to say a word. punching me in the, in the ribs I'm to not, give me Look at dude's face. Through. Does he look confident to you? <laughs> I was not. All right, Todd. Does he look confident I'm gonna to you? Can you be good in the next? I'll be good. I promise I'll be good. 30 seconds. Yep. What do you say, buddy? 19 seconds, actually. Don't sass me, boy. <laughs> Wow. Oh. That was, wow. Here comes the kicker. Pepino. T- Todd, th- th- this is this is everything this is sweet, you're against. Sweet irony. Everything. I feel like this old paint thinks that we're actually rooting for the Vikings. <laughs> Every time he comes by, he gives us a, a like a like a sideways glance, like yeah, you would fucking want I want the Lions to lose. I, I you know, that might be the case, but he almost missed it, and he's dancing. He's having to fucking have hey, a house dude, hey. There we go. Sorry, buddy. I almost missed that motherfucker. He wasn't confident. I knew I should have needed you. I'm just going to play it for the sake of it. Well, let me ask this question, Bob. Yeah. If you, you were born, let's say, right? You go hold on, right Todd. Now. Hold on, Todd. A- 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 ask me once the song gets done. We'll run it out. Because it's really, for whatever reason, it's hard to hear you when the song is playing. Lions up 31-29 with 15 seconds left. Sorry, go ahead, Todd. Now I can hear so you. So my question is this, Bob. Yeah. You saw the reaction after you made that freaking chip shot. Yep. Field. If you, you bowled before in your life, right? I have bowled. 
Imagine if you bowled every day all day, and it's all you did was bowl. And to I'm win the it. and to win the, win the game, you just needed one pin. Would you celebrate like that? You wouldn't, because you know you've been there before. <laughs> and that dude was celebrating like that, because you know why? Kickers suck. And now that now they got that now this so you're this freaking. Here's the thing, you know, yeah. this Riker dude, he's gonna freaking get his chance probably to try and kick a field goal to win it. And look at how nervous he looks. These kickers are horrible, horrible. <laughs> you just happen to be on the good side of the. You, you got you got the less you got the you got the less shitty end of the stick of the kicker. So what you're saying is, what I hear you saying is, the method, the the the, the tone and the type of celebration that. Uh, Jack Jack Bates? Sure. 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 Our, our kicker displayed upon potentially kicking the game winning field goal really rubbed you the wrong way because if he was any good he wouldn't have celebrated at all. Because kickers, that's all I do. Congratulations boys. We won it. We got it done. Even though we needed a kicker to do it. Jesus, I should have fucking muted him. That's the final. Oh, no. Go. They're fucking calling it back. There, there's Flag. the flag on the flag. Yep. See? Dude, this, See, would, Bob? this would be... I really want to mute Todd's mic right now. <laughs> That's on you. That's not, on you. Not, not just for this last play to end the game, but also for the game of field goal. He fucking spoiled it. Both times. Despite me having asked nicely. That's it. That's it. There's a flag on the offense. They're going to put a second back on the clock. One play. They're going to get one play. Oh, on the, it's on. It's on. Hey, Bob, if I was just to scream right now, would you be mad? Dude, uh, that's it. Todd, I'll see you in 25 seconds. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I, I just can't. That, that's two times in a row that Todd has spoiled it. And I, we got we to gotta be true to what, we were, what we're going through here. So two, one second left on the game clock. Yeah, this is a bunch of horse shit. Depends on what bar you're sitting down, in what city. Or I fourth, bet if you're sorry, one second like, left. We got yeah. They're giving him one seconds. fucking play. And it is going to be a Hail Mary, Mother of God, pass in the All end zone. is a defensive pass interference. Unbelievable. Detroit up 31-29 over the undefeated Vikings. One second left in the game. There he goes. There you go, Todd. You are back, sir. That is the that is the win. There we go. There we go. Todd Dillon, I'm so sorry. I love you. Has he left? No, he's <laughs> no I'm still here. I, was, I think on my fantasy league they put two seconds back on. <laughs> wow. Fucking unbelievable win. Old Paint's got a lot to say. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of old Paint's got a lot to say. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Todd Dillon from Seattle, Washington. Corey Slesky and myself from Dearborn Heights, Michigan, and Uncle Ray's Bar. We have been the Schnozcast. That's the episode for the day. Congratulations, Detroit Lions. Go, Lions. Grit all Go. the way. Go, yes, Pepino. Pepino. Fucking knuckle duster, knuckle buster, oh, yes. knuckle buster, <laughs> click clack. I go get it, baby. <laughs> Diners Club. All that the way. is the episode. We will see you one week from today on the twenty seventh. We'll be interviewing Year of October. Normal podcast, normal start time. No, not normal start time. One thirty p.m. Eastern. We'll see you then. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Love you. Peace out. <laughs>